There's no way. She so did not do that. <laughs> oh, yes, she did. <laughs> yes! Hurry up. We're gonna get in trouble if we're late again. No, I'm trying. So, you went ahead and bought them? Yep. Brand new shoes. I'm gonna be super fast today. Just you wait. You'll be eating my dust. Oh, whatever. Miss Takayama, please return to the faculty room as soon as possible. Yeah, that one made me cry a lot, too. Huh? Why is he in the library? You girls are late again. We're sorry. Get changed immediately and start running laps. Okay. okay. And get a better attitude! Okay! Silsena, where are you going now? I did bring that movie I was talking about if you wanted to see it. <laughs> What's wrong, Senna? my gym clothes do you want to go back to that same store again i was just about to ask you the same question uh, I, i'm so sorry oh, oh my god we almost he is died the worst <sighs> so exaggerated i'm totally not i'm telling you they both almost died like right there in the hallway Who's in there talking? Hey, she must be on a cell phone or something. Come on, you always say that. <laughs> I know that How girl. How many times do I have to tell you? It never happened. No, it didn't. She's in my class. Yozer or something. Mikazuki, I think. But I've never heard her laugh like that in class. Or, well, ever. She always looks pissed as hell. Kind of like she's about to murder someone. I've never really seen her talk to anybody. Crazy. Hold on, this is officially weird. She's not talking on the phone at all. I told you, I'm not giving up on that. <laughs> what the hell? Well, Who's she talking to? So far, is there somebody hiding in there? So why not? A girl talking to an invisible thing in an empty classroom at dusk. But you can't just sit there and wait for it. You know, this sounds exactly like the beginning of a book I just started reading. Next, after various obstacles, I discover her secret and ultimately defend her by fighting and killing a thing not of this world. Then we would naturally, uh, fall in love. I guess. Right. You know what, Tomo? I think I do remember that. Huh? That's what she usually looks like. But she was so cute when she was laughing. What do you want? I... I was just wondering... Do you like see ghosts and stuff? What? Uh, no, cause ghosts don't exist. Well then, who have you been talking to? You were watching me? Look, I was having a conversation with my best friend ever. She's made of air, okay? You have an air friend? What the crap is that? Huh? It's exactly what I said it was. You've heard of an air guitar before, haven't you? She's like that, but cooler. So let's see, you pretend someone is there and talk to them like they're talking back to you? I'm not pretending. Tomo exists, you big jerk. See, she's right here next to me. For example, Tomo and I were just talking about this one time when we went to a theme park back when we were in middle school. This group of guys was totally hitting on us while we were there. I mean, it was ridiculous, so I decided to pretend one of them was going to be our hot new home. You just said here. you were pretending. Shut up. The point is, it really happened. Oh, really? How much of it really happened? The part where I was in middle school? So only 99% of it was a complete lie? I was hoping the amusement park would at least turn out to be real. Seriously? Who would want to go to an amusement park by themselves? You just admitted you were alone. Stop. 
Go ahead and get over it, because Tomo is unbelievably adorable. That Plus chick is off a rocker. This cannot end well. So this is really about self-preservation. Uh, what does that look for? I don't know. Wouldn't it be a lot easier for you to just, you know, make a real friend instead? Not an air friend like adorable Tomo, but an actual living person. <laughs> yeah, well, I would if I could, thank you. Shocking that you can't. And just who are you to talk? You're that new kid everyone's afraid of, isn't that right? I've been at this school for well over a month now. I'm hardly a new kid. What's your name? It's Kodoka Hasegawa. <laughs> it seems to me you have no right to say anything about having friends, Kodoka. First name basis already? So an entire month has passed and you still haven't made a single friend yet? Wouldn't you say that's a little pathetic? Hey, you only have an air friend. Where the hell do you get off? There's no reason to be rude to her. My friend Tomo is adorable and crazy smart. And she's also an amazing athlete and the absolute best friend a girl like me could ever hope to have. What's more, she would never even dream about stabbing me in the back. It's not a mystery. There's nothing else I can do. I don't know how to make friends. Yeah, I'm not really that great at it either. Did you not have any friends at your old school? Of course I did. Don't you still talk to them? Hey, he said he would text me, but I haven't heard from him. Maybe you misunderstood and just, like, thought you were friends. Maybe shut up. Fine, then. You know, if you wanted, you could try to pay someone to be friends with you. No, that's so lame. God. Come on. A small stipend every week for spending time together at school. Like a prostitute? What is that, a friendstitute? No, it's a basic contract. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with a contract. Or you could just ask someone to be your friend. I've seen people do that on after-school specials, but I don't really get it. You ask someone to be friends, and the moment they agree, a friendship is suddenly formed. Even if you'd never spoken to each other before then. What if you never even talk after getting approval? Can you still consider that person to be your friend? Yeah. Well, I guess I can't really blame you. It's not my thing either. Besides, I'm pretty independent, so it's not like I need to have any friends. Right. Not having friends must be so hard on that poor girl. Condescension has to be my least favorite thing in the whole world. Well, I can understand. For whatever reason, people think if you don't have a lot of friends, there's something wrong with you. I don't think that's true, though. At least I hope it's not. I'm perfectly fine being alone. Having a few general acquaintances at school, those types of superficial friends are enough for me. Yeah, but still, I have to admit, it would be nice to have a real friend. What about school clubs? No way. Why is that a bad idea? Because we're in our second year. Club-based friendships have already been established. It'd be too embarrassing to join one now, not to mention completely obvious. I guess that's true. If you're only joining a club to make friends and not because you share an interest, you're only going to screw with their dynamic. You'll end up being the one loser member with nothing to offer. Why would they even want you to join? Uh, she's got a point. I'd only join a club to meet people. I don't really have any other reason. And I would hate to bug them if they were already friends. That would suck. That's perfect. A club! Huh? See you later, Kodaka. <laughs> uh. Why my hair looks like this? Oh, well, my late mother was English, so I get it from her. I mean, hey, it's not really PC, but have at it. Thank you. It was pretty difficult, but I guess time heals all wounds, right? <laughs> my father decided to go abroad for work. I started going to St. Chronica's Academy in Toyashi then, but my first day of school, I took the wrong bus and ended up getting there really late. When I finally arrived at the Academy, I was on the verge of tears.
Compared to Crusading Army, Saladin's army. Hello. Hello. I'm a the transfer student. Okay, great. My name is Kodaka. Nice to be here. Oh, oh no! Did he just attack her? Delinquent much? He's new here. What's up with his hair? Uh. Oh, I forgot my book. Thanks. By the evening of my first day, the whole school had heard the rumor. I was a thug who stole the book of the poor girl sitting next to me. It's been a month since then, and I still haven't been able to redeem myself for that first day fail. See you later, Kodaka. <laughs> what a weird... Girl. I did like that she said my first name. I haven't heard that at school yet. Nice. In equations of the nth degree, there will always be a root. As a result, the root of n is the usual. What's wrong with her now? Kodaka, follow me, please. Talk to it. To that Hasegawa creep? Oh. Well, give me a second. Okay, what's going on? I've gone through all the formalities and crap. What are you talking about? I created a new club. Since we can't join a club that already exists, well, it seemed only logical for me to go make a new one. Yeah, I get it. In a new club, you don't have to stress out about making things awkward for anybody. So what kind of club did you end up making? The Neighbors Club. The Neighbors Club? That's right. In compliance with God's instructions, we embrace everyone as neighbors, deepen friendships on a spiritual level, yada, 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 work together, and treat everyone with the kindness that God would want, or whatnot. Will a club like that actually get approved, though? Are you kidding me? This school is full of suckers. Throw in God or working hard, they cannot get enough of that stuff. Religion is always an easy sell. All right, so then what's this neighbor's club actually going to do? It's gonna help us make some damn friends. And we can avoid getting a bunch of pity face from the other students while we're at it. We'll load up on as many shallow acquaintances as we can, and then keep our eye out for people we could tolerate as real friends. Interesting plan of attack, I guess. Well, good luck. Hmm? Why are you wishing me good luck? You're a member too. Huh? You left before I could get the paperwork to you yesterday. So I just went ahead and filled out your registration. Say thank you. You did what? You are very welcome. Now let the club activities begin. You know you want to. <laughs> Wait, where are we going? This is the chapel's common room. You sure this is okay for the club to use? The club advisor okayed it. That makes it okay. Okay, and do they plan on advising us on how to make some new friends too? Probably not. Huh? The club advisor in question is Sister Maria. She doesn't have a lot of friends herself. Then why did she become our advisor? I get intimidated by people who look like they have a lot of friends, so I decided to go with her. You are something else. I know. We need to get more members. What is this? It's our poster. We're gonna put them up on bulletin boards all over the school. We are? But it doesn't describe anything about what the club does. Shows how much you know. Try looking at it diagonally, genius. Diagonally? Oh, I see. Friends wanted? Get it now? What did you put a lame joke in there for? It's not a joke. Come on, think about it. Anyone who is always on the lookout for friends is bound to see that message hidden in the poster. Huh? But that's not all. I tried to draw a scene from that famous song. You know the one about making 100 friends and eating rice balls at the top of Mount Fuji? Even if they don't catch the diagonal sentence, the drawing should totally clue them in on what we're about. And you're sure it's not a joke? Positive. Let's hang these bad boys up. On to the next one. 
Hey, are you positive you really want to be friends with someone who's desperate enough to understand this poster? So your desperation is fine, but theirs isn't? Uh, doublestandard.com. You know that's not what I meant. And you know that I have an actual name, but you keep calling me you all the damn time. It's really starting to piss me off. Oh, I'm sorry. So is Mikazuki all right? Yozura. You can use my first name. Fine. I'll call you that. Yo... Yo, sir. Uh, come on, don't you have a nickname or something easier for me to say? I do. Did? Look, I'm not going to tell you what it was, Kotaka. Why not? Because only... only real friends use nicknames with each other. I know I'm late! I'm sorry! Man, I'm exhausted. So? I think we should start regular activities tomorrow. Yeah, I seriously doubt anyone's going to want to join our club after looking at that poster. Oh, really? Because that sounds like a new member to me. What? We just got back from putting them up. This is the neighbor's club, right? I'd like to join, please. Wrong number. Hey, what? Yozura? You're right. We should start now. That's not it. She wants to join, and she's a girl who could be your best friend, which is kind of what you're looking for, isn't it? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Oh, my God, that blonde in your hair is totally showing right now. You've already met my best friend, and her name is Tomo, remember? Okay. Hmm? Why did you slam the door in my face? I said I want to join your group. Die, princess! No! <laughs> So, you guys know each other already? No, we do not. Her name is Sena Kashiwazaki, and she is the daughter of the Academy president. She's in class 2-3, and all the boys worship her. We do not need to be friends with Princess Wannabes. Oh. Yeah, I've heard about her. Of course. Why is it you give a girl blonde hair and huge knockers and guys fawn all over them? It's disgusting. What? I'm not fawning all over anybody. Ooh, she's glamorous and can play sports really well and makes straight A's. Senna has been at the top of the class since last year in every freaking subject. She can't be that perfect. There has to be something wrong with her. This chick needs serious therapy. She is not giving up. Why are you being so mean to me? The only thing I'm trying to do is join your stupid ass club. If you're here to spy on us, go away. I'm not spying on you. I saw your poster that said you were looking for some friends. Uh, I want to join because I want friends too, okay? Yeah, everybody knows how perfect I am. I'm super smart, really good at sports, and obviously I'm totes gorgeous. Only if cow wetters are gorgeous. Life must be hard for you having that flat chest. Oh, please. It's not like I'm that flat. Well, you know what they say about a pair of tangerines. You might as well have nothing. If I murdered all the women who had larger breasts than me, then I would have a relatively large rack in comparison, now wouldn't I? I don't suppose you would like to become the glorious first sacrifice of my lofty uh, plan? Please stop. You came here because you wanted friends, right? That's right. What are you talking about? You've got guys around you all the time. Those are just servants. I want more than that. It'd be nice to have girlfriends for once in my life. That way, when teams are formed in class or when we leave school for a field trip, I'll have friends I can hang out with. Oh, come on. You're surrounded by boys all the time. Why don't you hang out with them? I don't want to hear anyone say that to me ever again. I just want to have some real friends. Now that you mention it, I have heard girls can be pretty mean to other girls, especially if they're pretty and popular and intelligent. Considering you're a thug, you're a lot smarter than I thought you'd be. I don't mind stepping on you if you want me to. What the hell's wrong with you? Why would I want you to do that? I don't know. The boys in my class usually love it. Don't tell me you're looking for something more than that. What a pervy creep. I am not a stupid thug or a pervy creep. What the crap are you looking at? You. This situation is perfect for you guys. With both of you here, you can make friends with each other, yeah? What? Whatever. Why would I ever, like, ever want to be friends with somebody like her? And why would I ever, like, ever want to be friends with someone like her? What do you mean by that? They just met? 
How can they hate each other so much already? Your eyes are slanted too, you idiot. I know, but my eyes are... So, you want to stop and get food? You know I do. The usual. Please go die. No, you please go die. Actually, just get out of here. But now. No, I'm joining this club. You'll just have to deal with it. No, you're not. Get out. No, you get out. So fair. This is the first day of the Neighbors Club. One person joined, bringing us to a grand total of three members. I guess most people would consider that a smooth start. Most people would be wrong. Hey, I rented this awesome movie yesterday. Oh my god, it was hilarious. Which one was it? I can't remember the name. You know the one where the girl thinks these people are her friends, but they're like totally the opposite? Oh, look. It's about freaking time. Oh, hey. What's up, Kasha Wazaki? Call me Senna. God. Uh, you call Harpy Face by her first name, don't you? But for whatever reason, you feel the need to squeeze out five syllables when you want to talk to me. Okay, fine. Hey, Senna. Can we just get this show on the road already? Right. Because it... It's Yozara. Hey, Yozara. Hmm. So, how does this club even work? We're just supposed to make friends even though none of us know how? Oh, I know one way of making friends. Video games. <laughs> Do you want us to make friends with gamers now? Because why? Don't be so judgmental. Gaming has gone way beyond mainstream. Check it out. I've got a PSP plan of attack. Are you serious? My little sister has that. Last night, when I went out to dinner by myself... You went out to eat alone? Shut up! Anyway, four guys from school were sitting at the table behind me, and they were all playing this game together. Nice. Monster hunting. Have you played it? No, but it's your basic fantasy RPG. You get to hunt monsters. But the cool thing is, you have the ability to play with other people at the same time. If you're good at it, other players will want to play with you, which you can use as a way to make new friends. They let you exchange items, too, so that's an easy way to start up conversations with people you don't know. I get it. If we play this game with each other, we'll have the opportunity no to tempting. practice our friendship-making skills. I'm not going to make it any dirtier than you are. Um, wrong. Are You're you disgusting. listening to me? Now bring your own PSP I in by next Monday. Then we can all go monster hunting together. You got it? Sure. Why not? <laughs> and so the following Monday... You guys have both practiced using this thing, right? Yeah. Yep. I was busy this weekend, but I found some time to mess around with it. Not for very long, but you know how it is. Such is the life of me. Milk Cow, Kodoka, what level are you ranked? I'm at level one. I can't seem to kill any of the bad guys. <laughs> I'm a level three. Three? <laughs> Already? I'm six. Is that good? Uh, six? six? Yeah, that's good. It's the highest level. <laughs> Seriously, how perfect can one girl get? I'm even a prodigy at video games. I thought you said you didn't spend that much time on it. Yeah. How much messing with it did you do? Not that much. I was barely on it at all. Let me see for myself, meat sacks. Hey, give that back. I didn't say you could look at it. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? You were on it for 53 hours? I have to admit it, your outfit's pretty cute. Too cute for a lying show-off like you. <laughs> Look at that. You've got nasty bags under your eyes. I do not. I don't get bags. I know exactly what you're up to, Meat. You played the game the entire weekend, didn't you? A tigress devotes herself to anything she does, even stupid games. Tigress? Tigress! Okay. That's right. Now, let's play the damn thing. I don't mind hosting. I'll even help you two out by taking us on an easy quest, so you're welcome. She may be another completely crazy chick, but at least she's serious about the club. Are you guys ready? Because I'm ready. Sorry that took so long. What the hell are you wearing? Leave me alone. I'm just a beginner. I can't help it, okay? That's no excuse for your entire character. It's pathetic. He doesn't even look like you. <laughs> Don't take it personal, but everything we're looking at is a disaster. Even your name is cheesy. When is Hawk ever a good idea? You guys shut up. This is just a game, so it can be a little different from reality. A little? Ugh. 
Come on, let's go a hunting. <laughs> Looks like we'll get through this level quickly. I wonder what I should kill this time. I just mixed up all of those buttons. Oh well. Now get it together so we can go a hunting. <sighs> Something tells me a player with her rank doesn't get the buttons mixed up. She probably spent all those hours playing for that one moment. <laughs> it was a stupid mistake. I'm not surprised. Shall we go? <laughs> My buttons mixed up. Whatever, you so did that on purpose. I so did not. You need to relax me. Paranoia does not look good on you. <laughs> That's it. Look out. Here it comes. <laughs> Some dumb lizard take me down. Get ready, because I. <sighs> hey, that was a sleeping potion. Uh, what are you doing? Guess. Killed it. And hit me? Yeah. I was trying to give you a little backup. I guess I just don't know my own strength. My, you were trying to hit me on purpose. Hey, we're supposed to cooperate on this game, so maybe we should try that. <laughs> yeah, Hooters. But I'll make sure to cooperate even more next time. Well, in that case, brace yourself. I'm gonna cooperate the hell out of this. After that, the real hunting began. Those meat flaps of yours are grossing me out. I better turn them into ground beef. Shriek away, little harpy. Shriek. You won't be saying much when I kill you. <laughs> Silence, meat. No, because I do what I want. <laughs> Dog right. I rock. Since you're nothing but trash, you won't mind licking my foot? That doesn't even make sense, me. Someone help me! Oh, sorry guys, I just died. Uh. <laughs> It's like I only really feel alive when I'm really killing something. I'm gonna rip out your guts and shove them right down your throat, Harpy. How yeah, do you like well, that? Get your foot <laughs> ass on for size. <sighs> hmm. Maybe video games aren't right for us. Yeah, seems like a waste of time, right? For real. And since when did PSPs become, like, all about the multiplayer games anyway? Why should I have to play with people who are just gonna die on me? I thought playing with people was the whole point. I completely agree. I don't have a lot of time. Why should I have to share it? Ugh, I'm with a stranger. Yeah, totally. <sighs> yeah, why would you think of anyone else besides you? Huh? Uh, nothing, never mind. What do you want to do today? Same thing we do every day. Try and take over the world. <laughs> How far did you get in monster hunting? I didn't bring forth Imperial Wrath, but I did kill Jinro. I also got a ton of tail. Here goes. Do you have anything extra you can share with me? 
Probably. Hey, uh, guys. <laughs> so I've been playing that monster hunting game too. Do you by chance have the scarf of Dos Jagira? And would you be willing to trade for it? Uh, sure, whatever you want. Yeah, anything else you need, say the word. It's yours, it's no big deal at all. Thanks, guys. That's cool. By the following day, the rumor had spread through the whole school. I had pulled a shakedown in home room in broad daylight. Okay, what's that? Your blonde is showing again. There are two modern conveniences known as a television and a gaming console. They use electricity. Yeah, that's not what I meant. Why did you bring them here? What are they doing in the club room? Um, to play a game with? How'd you even get the TV in here? Anyway, why would you want to bring them to school to play in the first place? I found a game that's one, not a piece of crap like Monster Hunter, and two, looked useful to us, so I figured I'd bring it in. Be grateful, you ingrates. Shut up, coconuts. You're ruining my coffee. Hey, that's not coffee. It's tea, and it's also not yours. <sighs> Sparkling school life? Seven? Sounds like one of those chick games to me. It's a game about making new friends, stupid. So it is. This could be good for us to practice casual conversations. Yeah, it's for guys to meet girls, though. Didn't they have one for you all to practice meeting hot dudes to be friends with? Why? What would be the point of being friends with guys? Right. Thank you. Sparkling School Life 7! All right. S-E-N-A. Excuse me? Why the crap do we have to use your nasty name? Hmm? I mean, I'm the public face of this club. We should be using my name. You're the club's public face? Well, that explains why no one's joining. Uh, the main character is a guy, so maybe we should use my name? Hell no! Well, at least they're agreeing on something. Fine. Sin is the one who brought the game here for us. I think we should just go ahead and use her name this time. <sighs> Whatever. Way to use your head, Kodaka. Okay. Kashiwazaki Senna. Yeah. Sorry, changed my mind. I'm there. Ugh, you're such a jerk ass. Hi, I'm Simaponame Kashiwazaki. Uh, what the hell is Simaponame? Come on, I think it's a lovely random name. You should change your real name to that. Seriously, Senna makes me want to puke like every time I say it. <laughs> Dude, Simaponame! <laughs> This guy's name is Masaru Suzuki. We've been best friends since middle school. What? You're kidding me. This douche already has a best friend. And that selfish son of a bitch has the balls to say he wants even more? Stop making that creepy face and move out of the way. The best way to have the best time in high school is to cozy up next to a pretty girl. Go get one. That guy's a player, but he is so right. I'd love to have a pretty friend to cozy up to. My name is Akari Fujibayashi. I was nervous about starting this new school, but I am now happy that I'm sitting next to such a nice-looking guy. Would you like to be my friend at this time, Simo Poname? Oh, so you get to choose how the guy answers. Number three. How come three? Doesn't that seem rude? No, not when some hussy you don't know tries to get all up on your stuff on the first day of school. You can't trust girls like that. True. I bet she probably says the exact same thing to every single guy in the classroom. Oh, come on. She doesn't look that bad to me. <laughs> of course she doesn't. Bitches never look like bitches at first. But there's one of her in every class. She looks so innocent that all she's really doing is playing every guy in school. <laughs> is there one of her in our class? Totally. Online, it says practically every high school girl is a big bitch these days. Surely she realizes she qualifies as a high school girl. Okay, number three it is. What a pushy broad. Get lost. Oh my, I'm so sorry. As it is our first time meeting, I may have been too forward. I will be more careful from now on, so I hope that you are not mad at me. <sighs> Akari, I'm so sorry. Hey, oh, 
So basically, you get to decide what you want to do, and if you make the right choice, you get to talk to girls. This game is a rough place for a guy who can't get enough merit points to get a girl to go out with him. It's just like reality. He needs to get good grades so no one thinks he's stupid. Let's start with making him study. Good idea. I hate boys who are cerebrally challenged. The more he studies, the smarter he gets. Wow. How big of an idiot was this dude to start out with? Give the poor guy a break. It's just a game. Look! Uh. Someone's here. Oh, I am sorry. Another choice? I bet they go with two. So, which one is it? Number one. Seriously? Instead of wasting time reading random books, he needs to be focused on studying. I'm aiming for 200 academic points by the next test. So no screwing around, loser. Naturally. No, I'm sorry. You are kind. Thank you. May I have your name, if you don't mind too much? Sure. I'm Simapona Meikashiwazaki from Class D. Semoponome Kashiwazaki. That is a very nice name. Jeez, talk about having terrible taste. It's scary. For now, I'm thinking we ought to be friends with this girl. Are you okay with that? Yeah, she's way better than that Fujibayashi bitch. Go ahead. <laughs> She looks like she's a good person. Yukiko, let's walk home together. I... no... I am sorry. I don't understand. What's wrong with Yukiko? I guess this was the reason Yukiko Nagata suddenly became so cold. What? Tell me! You know how every time you saw that Akari girl you were really mean to her? Apparently that caused a nasty rumor to go through school. A rumor saying that you're mean to girls and therefore not to be trusted. So basically the reason Yukiko doesn't like me is because that stupid bitch Akari has been bad-mouthing me all over the whole damn school? I hate her so freaking much! I think you might be exaggerating. It says here if you get a bad rep, you need to find out who doesn't like you and apologize. What? Why the hell would I ever apologize to such an awful person? This is ridiculous. I don't even want to be friends with that disgusting cow in the first place. Totally agree. <laughs> How is this our fault that we need to say we're sorry? By no means am I about to bow down to some idiotic female who's just talking trash because she got shut down for acting slutty. Yeah, like for real, right? I refuse to give in on this. And I have total faith that Yukiko will understand anyway. Yukiko, please, I... I am sorry. Goodbye forever! Wait, no! I had faith in her, but, but she still let me down. She's really crying. Why do I only get the crazies? Hey. Where are you off to, Yozura? To find Akari Fujibayashi and kill her. <laughs> are you okay? You can go on! <laughs> <laughs> So be sure and play it as soon as you get home. 
And definitely watch out for the third year event with Akari Fujibayashi. It's particularly moving. Akari? But isn't she the poor girl you kept calling a stupid bitch yesterday? Do not talk like that about her. I'm sorry? Listen, she's been through, well, a lot since her parents were killed. That girl's the strongest girl I know. She won't let anything get her down. The only thing in her heart is a ball of love. <laughs> is that so? Oh, you have to make sure you capture Yukiko. Actually, Miho, Natsumi, Mizuki, and Karin, they're all amazing girls. Okay, so after going home yesterday, you conquered all of them? Obviously. Be sure you pay close attention to how they all end, too. You got that? Sure. I'll give it a whirl if I'm in the mood to play it. No way. You will play it whether you're in the mood or not. You have to. It's an experience everyone should be a part of. It's not just a game, it's a work of art. Don't you understand? It's life, held in your hand. Oh no, I'm gonna be late. And you better play it. Uh, oh crap. Neighbors Club record. Sina became friends with seven different girls, all of whom are two-dimensional. Uh. Oh, hey, Sina. Damn meat. She has some nerve ignoring me like that. I'm pretty sure I'm the one she was ignoring. Oh, yes! Huh? Conquer me on uh. Monday night! I want more in my hand than just my scepter! I want your hey, just what the hell? What is this? You heard what I said. Hands off, you harpy! Subjugate me! Grant me your legendary rigid blade, I beg you! Oh! Good sir, you are truly a knight! Jeez! What the hell are you doing? I should be the one asking you that, Jugsy. What kind of pervert watches smut in a church? It is not smut, you idiot! It's Black Star, the Sacred Sword, and it's one of the hottest video games in the market right now. An epic romance fantasy adventure for the ages. It's loaded with action and romance. The brave knight Lucas has to defeat Varnable, the god of destruction. In the scene you so rudely interrupted, Princess Cecilia was proclaiming her true love for Lucas. She was opening her castle gates to him. Didn't you know it was one of those adults-only games? No, how was I supposed to? After sparkling School Life 7, I wanted a new game, so I checked out some online forums. They all said this was the hottest game right now. And then when I asked this guy in class about it, he gave me a copy and said it would be perfect for me. It sure was, pervert! Are you jealous or just drinking Haterade? As if, you freak! Perf bag, sicko, kinkmeister, porn addict, double D deviant, pneumatic knocker nympho! Get away before I catch pornitis from Why you. Why do I have to put up with abuse like this just for playing a video game? Okay, fine. I'll admit the game does have a couple of steamy scenes in it. But that isn't anything out of the ordinary. Go to the library once in a while and you'll see the same things you're giving me crap for in the classics. So slow your roll. This game's a work of art just like they are. I've never seen your eyes glued to art the way they were to that game. Just be honest and admit you're addicted to the pervy stuff. No, I'm not. I just wanted to help Lucas and Cecilia consummate their relationship, to help them do what happens when a man and woman fall in love with each other. What you're seeing here is love, not sex. Get your nasty porn away! There's nothing nasty about it at all. You could have fooled me. I'm sorry that you're such a freaking prude you can't appreciate the artistic merits of this scene. Well, if it is art, then please read what they're saying out loud, Jiggles. Uh. If it truly is an inoffensive work of art, then you should have no problem doing what I asked. Right? Of course not! It's just that I get a little nervous reading out loud in front of people. In that case, I'll do it too. Huh? Say what? I'll also read from an artistic work. The boobs has to go first. It's just art, right? She shouldn't have a problem if that game isn't smut and the heroine isn't some promiscuous princess hoping to get a hold of Lucas's mighty sword or his fabled family jewels. Hey, don't turn their pure love into something that's dirty. Okay, if you want me to read it out loud, then I'll do it. <coughs> oh, my dear Lucas, please cleave my, um, heaving bosom with your rigid blade. Louder, I can't hear you. And let me hold the sword that makes maidens coo. I want to see it in the masterful strokes that you so deftly employ in its use. Show me your big weapon. Oh, so you want me to unsheathe my sacred sword, do you? My, what a randy and demanding tart you've revealed yourself to be, Cecilia. 
No, you speak coarse things that are not true. Nonsense, I can see that lusting expression in your eyes. Look, if you want something, don't deny it, ask for it. Or to be more specific, beg for it, Tart. Please, I beg of thee, my carnal cavalier. This randy-minded royal wants, nay, needs your sacred sword. Don't say sacred sword. Say the name of what you really want. <laughs> Don't stop now. Go on and finish it off. Lucas, please. I want it. All of it. Your robbing, gigantic, mighty, ravishing. <laughs> That was a bit overboard, even for you. I hope the audio came out okay. I was recording Meat the whole time she was reading. I think I'll play her little smut recital over the PA system. Are you the devil? Now my turn. For what? I said I would do it, and I'm keeping my word. So I'm going to read from a work of art like I promised. Why does my heart feel so ashamed? Autumn mountain shadow on a day of white wind? Uncannily mature tree trunks stood. In hollows thick with the fallen leaves. Wow, that's pretty deep. Hey, sis, I'm home. <laughs> ah, my mortal servant has finally returned. Your vampiric master is quite famished, so I do hope you've brought me a sacrifice. I'll get dinner started, Kobato. Huh. That name is only my human alias. My proper name is Racist V. Felicity Sumeragi, child of darkness and true heir to the Great Night Tribe. I must quench my thirst and feed worm. <coughs> Bring forth my sustenance now, or great disaster will befall you. Whatever, Night Spawn. <laughs> Dinner's ready, sis. Your sacrifice. <laughs> well done, slave. A human's lifeblood is incredibly delicious. It's tomato juice, dork. And now, here's a tale of two furry felons. Oh. Remember Chim Chim, the young monkey at the Takayama Zoo who... Hey, eat your onions too, Kobato. ...formed a unique bond with a wild boar named Snorri. Here. And a girl. By the way, my human brother, hmm? I've noticed that you've been late providing my sacrifices recently. Oh, right. I haven't been getting home as early as usual because of the club. You better get used to it. What's more important to you, me or that club of yours? Hmm. The club, of course. <laughs> if you want dinner early, make it yourself. We're out of tomato juice. I mean, we're out of the precious lifeblood of humans. I'll get some tomorrow. Thanks, Kodaka. I mean, you better get it, you human wretch. This should brighten your day, About a year ago, my kid sister Kobito got addicted to this anime series called Full Metal Necromancer. Since then, she's been acting and talking like she's this character on the show who's a vampire. I spent my first couple of years in this house when I was a little kid. We left it ten years ago when my dad had to move because of work, and it's been sitting empty ever since. When dad found out he was getting transferred to America recently, he decided Kobito and I would stay in Japan. So her vampiric majesty and I moved back here. But it's been so long I barely remember anything about this place at all. Kobito, your bath's ready. After this show, mortal. I guess the club really is important to me. Hmm? Hey, why aren't you playing porn star today? That's Black Star, you idiot! I didn't want any more crap, so I brought Sparkling School Life 7, but it appears the Harpy isn't here. She said some book she wants goes on sale today. Hmm. Hey, tell me something. Um, can you swim? Hmm? Yeah, kinda, sorta. Really? Well, in that case... Do you think maybe you can teach me how to do it? You mean, you don't know how to? No, because none of the schools I've attended ever offered swimming lessons. Uh, okay, sure. 
I don't mind teaching you, but why do you want to learn all of a sudden? Geez, you really are a dumb blonde, aren't you? <laughs> now that I'm friends with Natsumi, how awkward is it going to be if we go to a pool or a beach and I don't know how to swim? But she's not real. You can teach me at Sea God's Palace Land this Sunday. Sure. All right, then. Let's get one thing straight. Don't you dare tell Yozura I don't know how to swim. You understand me? Isn't Utters coming to the club today? No, she said she had some shopping to do. For what? Some kind of milking device? Don't you dare tell Yozura I don't know how to swim. Hey, is something on your mind? No. Is that the new book you were talking about? It sure is. Any good? So far. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for the wait. Uh. What's wrong? Nothing. I just need a cold shower. Here. I don't need help getting in. <sighs> okay, first you're gonna try to open your eyes underwater. Hey, give me some credit. I can't swim, but I can at least do that. I gotcha. Then let's move on to the harder stuff, okay? sure learns quick. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Thanks so much for giving me swimming lessons today. If Natsumi and I ever go swimming, now I'll know what to do. Yeah, like that'll happen in the real world. This place sure is swanky for a water park, isn't it? Yeah, but it's on the verge of bankruptcy. Are you serious? Look around. There's hardly anybody here. The last time the mayor came over, he and Daddy were wondering how much longer this place could last. Daddy? Oh, you mean the president of St. Chronicus? Yep. Speaking of your dad, I haven't had a chance to meet the guy. I need to stop by sometime and pay my respects. <laughs> Wait! Why on earth would you want to pay your respects to my father? Do you mean to tell me that you think that today is an actual date you and I are on? And you want to meet my daddy? To get his permission to officially start dating me? I'm sorry to burst your bubble, huh? but I want to meet him because he did me a favor since he and my dad are old friends. I'd like to drop by to thank him for helping me with the admission process to get into the academy. Uh, well, you should have said so in the first place, you jackass. Hey, you're the one whose imagination ran wild. Come on, admit it. What you said was really suggestive. Jeez, me. Excuse me? Um, well... What I meant to say was, geez, the meat in these fried noodles is so tender. I don't think that is what you meant. You're just a little hypersensitive whenever the word meat is mentioned. Can you blame me? I have been since Hosera started calling me that. If it bugs you so much, then why do you answer whenever anybody says the word? Because it's the first time anyone gave me a nickname. Oh? So getting one actually made me a little happy. Whoa, for real? Yes, but don't ever tell Yozura I said that. Now, if you're finally done stuffing your face, let's get back to my swimming lessons, okay? Just give me a minute. If I was her, I'd be pissed if someone called me meat. But a nickname does make you feel special. Taka! Hey, Taka! <laughs> With 
you? No uh, way. Stuck up bitch? Yeah, right? I won't go out with you, so I'm a bitch, huh? Well, I'd much rather be a bitch than date the three of you losers. You slut. Oh, crap. Here we go. Oh, so I'm a bitch and a slut? If that's how you closet cases talk to all the girls who turn you down, then maybe you dorks should just date each other. Watch your mouth, slut face. Hey, check it out, bros. This chick's shaking like a leaf. <laughs> Yeah, totally. Aw, oh, you're scared of us, ain't ya? No, I'm not shaking because I'm afraid. I'm shaking because I'm angry, jerk. Senna. <laughs> Kodaka! What do you want, brah? The girl you're messing with is with me. Oh, we had no idea, dude. She never mentioned a boyfriend. Uh, tease. Hey, wait a minute. You creeps aren't getting away with calling me bitch, slut, and tease. Uh, so get down on your knees and beg and uh, grovel for my forgiveness now. You heard me, pissants. Do it! Like hell we will! Violence is never the answer. Let go of my hand! Yeah, douche. Yes. Ow, 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 ow. <sighs> Take my advice and just walk away from this, guys, okay? Uh, sure thing. Good choice, boys. I'm glad we could agree. <sighs> you okay? That dude was psycho. Nice work, badass. You can lick my feet as a reward if you'd like to. You sure showed those guys. Sheesh, what a bunch of morons, right? There was only one moron here, and that was you. Me? How do you mean? Why did you have to keep pushing it with those guys? They were leaving, but you just couldn't shut the hell up. What? Like they didn't have it coming? Why are you giving me a lecture anyway? Rude much? Because you need a lecture right now. There are a lot of guys out there who were even nastier than they were. You could have gotten hurt just then. I'm not always going to be around to protect you, you know. Yeah, well, who cares? I'll protect myself. You don't have to worry about me, dude. <laughs> the way you're acting, I sure as hell do. Wow. You really are worried about me. All right, then. I apologize, okay? From now on, I promise I'll be more careful. Great. Thanks. I think I'm done for today. That's the first time a boy my age has ever admitted he was worried about me. Huh? <laughs> well, I'll see ya. Right. Um, as for today, thanks for everything. We should go again soon. I'd like to try out that waveful next time. Uh, yeah, sure. I wonder what put her in such a good mood. <laughs> Time to take you down, punk. Teach the weakling a lesson. Talk about deja vu. This reminds me of some of the fights I got in as a kid. <laughs> What's the matter, huh? Uh, it's the bath. I almost perished in that infernal thing. What? Uh, How? Uh, the water turned gold. This wouldn't have happened if it had been filled Would you with put something blood. on, at least? Oh, the horror. Uh. Why don't you pick on someone who's not so weak? Uh, why don't you make me? Huh. Huh? Uh. Hey, what was that for? I was trying to help you, butthole. You're wrong. I'll prove I'm not weak. <laughs> then bring it on, Blondie. <sighs> Don't ignore me, <sighs> jerk. Get him, guys. <sighs> After the fight broke up, me and that kid actually became friends. Taka, huh? do you know what my mom told me one time? She said that in first grade, it's okay if you can't make 100 friends. What matters is if you can make real friends, and ones who mean more to you than 100 different others would. Even if you only make one real friend, that's better than having 100 who are just okay. I feel the same way your mom does. Hmm. 
So how about we agree to be each other's one real friend for the rest of our lives? Even if you never make any others, I promise I'll be your real friend forever. Hey, why are you getting so mushy all of a sudden? You're the one who started all that real friend stuff. Sorry, guess I sounded kind of girly, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I must have dozed off. What matters is if you can make real friends and ones who mean more to you than a hundred different others would. Right. What? Kodaka, you remember? Hmm? Wait, what did you say? Uh... Oh, it was nothing. You were asleep and just started muttering. It surprised me. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to scare you. Hey, where'd Sina go? Neat already went home. And you're still here? Yes. I was reading my book and lost track of time. Oh, well, I've got to get going. <laughs> that kid. I wonder whatever happened to him. Does he still live here? And his nickname? What did I call him again? For the life of me, I can't seem to remember. Maybe he's in the same boat. After ten years, I'm sure he doesn't remember me or what I said either. I was just a kid when I said it, but is there even such a thing? Real friends who last forever? Anyone here? Uh, uh, is she wearing a nun's habit? What's this kid doing in here? Uh, uh. Oh, look, I just caught the school thug molesting an innocent little girl on camera. Scandalous. Kodaka, talk about disgusting. What? Am not! I guess we'll just have to let the people who see this be the judge, huh? What websites do you think I should put it on? But why would you do that to me? Hmm. Uh. 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 Yozer and the Kazuki? Sister Maria, hello. Allow me to welcome you to my club room. What do you mean, your room? It was my special nap time room before you lied and then stole it from me! I take it you know each other? I told you about her. Maria Takayama is a nun who works at the school and happens to be our club's faculty advisor. Oh, what? what? But she's just a little kid. Don't call me little! I am a legitimate teacher! How old are you anyway? Ten years old! You do look your age. Okay, so you said something about her stealing this room from you? Yes, that's right! She attacked me while I was napping. She came up to me and slapped me on my right cheek for no reason. And she said, So saith the Lord, but whosoever strikes you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. Then, she smacked me on my left cheek too! really bad. Then she said, so saith the Lord, but whosoever strikes you on the right cheek, offer up to them your room. Ye shall sign their club founding documents and also grant unto them your seal of the faculty approval. I checked later, but it turns out what she told me isn't anywhere in the Bible. Liar! Falsifier! Poopyhead! Wow, I can't believe you fell for that. It was terrifying. I was afraid if I refused to do it, she would slap me again. Well, that makes sense. She probably would have. Hey! Who the heck are you, anyway? My name's Kodaka Hasegawa. I'm a member of the club. So you two are Yozura's minions, huh? Hello, Rude. Um, I am a minion to 
no one thank you very much? Yeah, what she just said. Meet over there has absolutely nothing to do with me. She's not even a member. I am so a member. Shut up! It doesn't really matter because this room is mine. I'm quitting being the faculty advisor to this club right now. Everybody, get out! I figured you'd do this. I mean, you are just a child. <sighs> what did you say? <sighs> It simply wasn't fair of me to expect a child to behave like she was an adult. Uh, I feel so stupid now. I should have asked a grown-up instead. I'm sure they would have never simply quit a job they had promised to do. What? Don't say that! I'm grown up! Poor thing got in over her head. <sighs> Bummer. I assumed a little girl genius like Sister Maria would have been able to handle this like a professional. But I was sorely mistaken. Come on, you don't have to prove yourself to us. What? No, that's not what I'm doing at all. Oh, does that mean you still want to be our advisor? Of course it does! Well, then bow your head and say, please let me be your faculty advisor. Please let me be your faculty advisor? Now you're gonna have to let me do whatever I want to do in this room. And you need to swear to God. I swear! Also, if you ever tell me again that you're going to quit... You won't mind if I strip you naked, take pictures, and spread them all over the internet? No, I won't! Really? How nice. Let's have a round of applause for our new advisor, Maria Takayama. Come on, this is where you clap. Oh, yay. Uh, you guys are embarrassing me. Don't worry, I'll take care of everything, stupid. <laughs> We're gonna need you to clean the room every other day. But at the moment, I'm thirsty, so some tea would be great. I'll get there's nothing easier than fooling a fool, am I right, guys? Somebody's watching you? Yeah, at least I have this weird feeling I'm being watched. I wonder if maybe it's a stalker. <laughs> Kodika, are you serious? I mean, think about it for a second. 90% of stalkers stalk because they think they're in love with their victim. Have you had anything remotely resembling a romance since coming to the school? Uh, shut up! First, that's not true, and B, I shouldn't have asked. Hold on just a second. I'm not about to let a fellow club member suffer alone. Today's club focus? Helping you. Let's catch your stalker. Yep, I'm definitely getting the feeling we're being watched. Truth, this was not just your imagination, Kodika. What's happening now is not what I was talking about. I don't know why, but every single person we pass is giving me the freaking evil eye. How am I supposed to find a stalker with this crap going on? Set has abandoned me for a criminal. Man, why do nice guys have to finish last? Oh, you're jealous, duh. You're wrong! This isn't how it looks! <laughs> I've seen this in movies. You know where the scary guy says, what are you looking at, and freaks everyone out? I've never seen it in real life before, though. They were the ones who wanted to come along. Why do I always have to be the bad guy? What's up, stalker? Uh, what the hell is that? I'm giving you my wallet. This is your standard shakedown, isn't it? No! My name is Yukimura Kusnoki. I'm in class 1-1. One, one. Wait, isn't that a famous samurai's name? That's right. He's from the Warring States period. My parents chose it for me because they wanted me to become a son they could be proud of, just like Yukimura Sonata's parents had been. A son? Really? Yes, I'm obviously a boy, so that would make sense. Uh, you are not obviously anything. Uh? So what's the deal with following me around all the damn time? To tell you the truth, I'm a sad victim of bullying. Uh, bullying? You guys have bullies at this school? I didn't know. How could you not? There are no schools without bullies. Huh? What are they bullying you about? Or do you even know? They do it because it's fun. It's fun? People just enjoy attacking others when they know they're not going to get hurt in the process. Like killing living animals or torturing somebody online. But it's the person who's getting bullied's fault. The bully would stop if they wouldn't react and give them something to enjoy. And that's straight from the horse's mouth. How dare you assume I'm the same as those cowards? Anyway, what's the deal? How come you were following Kodika? Right. 
Well, everybody is afraid of him, so I thought I could study him and learn how to become strong. For real? You think this awkward chicken is strong? Excuse me? He lives life by his very own set of rules and does whatever he wants to do whenever he wants to do it. He's brave yet feared. He takes what he wants from whomever but isn't greedy, and he gets rid of people who refuse to do what he says, all while being surrounded by gorgeous ladies who do his bidding. He neither knows nor shows fear of God because he is the Lord of his own heaven and earth. That dude is from a different anime. I always follow school rules and have never stolen anything. And women do not serve me. Add modesty to that list. Someone help! Let's break this down. The bottom line is you are trying to become someone who would never get bullied. How do people bully you in the first place? The boys in my class leave me out of whatever they're doing all the time. Like, for example, when we've got Jim. Every time I start to change my clothes, they run off as fast as they can. It's so mean. And when we play dodgeball, they never even try to hit me. Um, how's that bad? <laughs> poor, poor Yukimura. That's the saddest thing I've ever heard. I'm pretty sure they treat me this way because they're all convinced I'm a girl. But I just know it'll stop if I become manlier like you, Kodika. You are an inspiration. Not a lot of people are willing to face their difficulties head-on like you do. It's brave. I think you should thoroughly study the art of becoming a man with our resident thug. That's so sweet of you. However, huh? Kodaka is very busy with our neighbor's club activities. If you were to join the group as well, then you'd get the chance to observe him in his natural habitat. I'm so in. Why didn't you treat me like that when I joined? Okay, what's your angle? Fess up. What's the big problem? You're getting your own personal underling. This way, you'll be the consummate delinquent. Why would I want that? Do you really mean it? I'm gonna be Kodaka's personal underling? That makes me very happy. May I call you my big brother sometimes? Uh, sure, kid. Do what you want. <laughs> so it turns out this ten-year-old is not only a teacher, but our group advisor. And then a boy who you'd swear was a girl ended up joining the club. Isn't that crazy? Hmm. Oh. It seems like the only thing you ever talk about now is that club. Hmm. What? You upset about that? No way! That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard! <laughs> Racist V Felicity Sumeragi would never allow her feathers to be ruffled. Absurd. Yeah, yeah. Make sure to clean your plate. Hmm. What is all this? A little snack. Yozura helped me out with it. She said if I wanted to be a good underling, I should provide you with food and comic books, so that's what I did. That girl defines irresponsible. I hope you enjoy it, big brother. Tell me you just saw that. Apparently he's preying on freshmen now, too. He made that kid by all the Hey, before. hold up! Damn it. Since joining the stupid neighbors club, my reputation has gotten even worse. Hey, are you okay? This comic is actually pretty good. I gotta remember to pay Yukimura back later. He's a normal second year boy, except he looks mean. And his hair is the same color as dirty dishwater. Uh. Excuse me, are you the one who carried Rika to the nurse's office earlier? Rika? That's correct. Rika Shigama, specifically. Rika's very glad she found you. She's in her first year. I get it. Yeah, I was the one who carried you. Thank you for saving Rika's life. It was very kind of you. Oh, uh, yeah, don't worry about it. Rika cannot not worry about it. You are Rika's savior, and that is a big deal. Rika feels she must repay you with a price that is equal to Rika's own life. Wait, your life? Are you telling me the chemicals in those beakers were dangerous? Oh, no, not especially. It was only a quick-acting sleeping drug, so Rika can say it was safe. So pretty much I didn't save your life at all. Perhaps Rika's life wasn't technically in mortal danger. However, had you not taken Rika to the nurse's office so quickly, who knows what horrible and tragic things could have been done to Rika while she was so defenseless. Horrible things? <gasps> things like rape. What? You just said rape. 
That is generally the kind of thing which happens in the books Rika is fond of reading. Some strange men could have come into the lab while Rika was sleeping and lustfully ripped off all of her clothing. And then one after another in their carnal frenzy, they might have ravaged Rika's delicate body, pounding her wildly with their wicked desires. Come with me. Sure, okay. Uh, Kodaka? What the hell? Rika, why are you talking about rape? Right, Rika probably shouldn't talk about it in front of others. Nevertheless, Rika feels the need to give you a token of gratitude for rescuing her chastity. Thanks, but no. Nonsense. Perhaps Rika can fix your silly-looking hair. That is not a good dye job at all. This is my real hair. What? It's true. My mom was English and blonde, and it's the only thing I have left of her. I'm never changing it. <sighs> Ow! What'd you do that for? Because Rika is very interested in your DNA. What? Interested how? Rika has to go back to the science lab now. The science lab? Yes. Rika's a science lab student. I didn't know they had those. They do. It's a special program for kids like Rika so they don't get picked on. You mean that you... <laughs> I see. Things aren't easy for you either. Oh, please don't look at Rika with such kind eyes. You're making Rika blush. Um, by the way, Rika still does not know your name. Right. My name is Kodaka. Kodaka, it's very nice to meet you. Hey, it seems for the first time in Rika's life she has an interest in mammals. Uh, uh. Excuse me, I brought you some coffee. Uh, uh, excuse me, but why are you wearing a maid uniform? You're a dude. It's part of my special training to help make him a real man. What? Nothing you said makes sense. Yozra has been so sweet and helpful. Just this morning, she told me, real men exude a raw masculinity that simply cannot be hidden or disguised, no matter what they may do, say, or wear. I should be able to tell Why are you torturing the poor kid like that? Soul, even if you I know, speaking of like torture, this, I heard a nasty rumor you, like, totally raped a freshman. I, really uh, am a true man. I did not! Please! That girl was just awkward because she spends all day in the science lab alone. Oh, is that right? Hey, I just remembered. Hmm? I know about that girl you helped. She's a genius inventor named Rika Shiguma. I heard that since she was a kid, she's been creating all kinds of things like electronics, computer programs, and medicines. She's even provided technology to giant corporations. Daddy convinced her to enroll here, but she doesn't actually go to any classes. She just invents stuff all day. She really doesn't have to go to class? That's right. Just goes to the lab. In fact, the only reason the science lab was created was for her to use. They're treating that girl like a VIP. Not fair. How is it acceptable to treat her so much better? Uh... Because it's normal for the superior to be given preferential treatment over the mediocre? I still have yet to figure out why they haven't built me my own room, too. Here you go. Thank you. Well, finally! Rika has found you! Oh, hey. Did you need something? After a bit of research, Rika discovered you belong to this neighbor's club. Rika thought she might join, too. She what? Uh... Rika already signed the application. Listen, Rika, or whatever. You may not know, but this club exists for an extremely noble purpose. To be accepted, you're going to have to meet certain requirements. Like wanting to make friends? That is the purpose of the club, is it not? Uh, how did you know? Because Rika read your official poster. Friends Wanted was clearly written across it diagonally. You mean you could actually read that on the poster? And it seems Rika was correct. If the requirement is not having friends, Rika is confident she qualifies. Yep. That's pretty much all it takes to get in. Here. All right, starting today, you're a member. Welcome to the club. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh. Now Rika will be able to see Kodaka every day after school. Not that Rika isn't excited to meet the rest of you. That is, as long as you don't get in Rika's way of Kodaka, of course. And you told me she was awkward. Hey, something in your pocket is hurting me. Oh, Rika is sorry. She forgot all about the dirty book she left there. Uh. A dirty book? How can you just walk around with it like that? Easy. So, you want to see it? You show it to people? Of course, why wouldn't I? It really gets Rika going. Uh, wait, isn't that just a regular robot manga? How's that supposed to be dirty? What? You mean you haven't heard of ZZ Unit number two before? Uh, 
Oh, yeah. How do you like the taste? That's my prized high mega bazooka unit number two. Oh, ZZ, it's so fat and hard. I can't believe this. It went all the way inside. Oh, it's incredible. Tell me more. You can't stand it when I attack you there, can you? Get ready. I'm preparing to pierce your DT field now. Oh, no. It's my first time, so oh, please be gentle on me. I don't think your huge dual-equipped mega beam cannon is going to fit. It's just too big. <laughs> Energy 170%! I'm fully charged! Here it comes! Yes! Right here! Ah! I'm gonna shatter! It feels like you're about to break me in half! Ah! I can tell the heat from you is deep inside of me! when they reach their final climax simultaneously. There aren't many artists talented enough to express that kind of satisfaction. You are messed up. <laughs> you do not have to understand it. Rika does not expect that from you. But that doesn't mean she'll give in. Hey! Would you like to try sexual intercourse with Rika? <clears throat> what the what are you doing? You can't just ask someone to do that like that. Please calm down. There's no reason to get upset. Rika knows for a fact friends with benefits are all the rage these days. Uh, no, that's not a real thing. How cute. You're so innocent. It's sweet. <sighs> well, anyway, you can't do that kind of thing. Because, uh, um, we don't allow inappropriate friendships in this club. All right, but... Don't you think men and women can be normal friends and still have sex, too? Absolutely not! Hey, um, what's the matter, Yozara? Nothing. I'm fine. It appears Rika has accidentally stepped on a landmine. Still, from now on, Rika thinks we should try new things together. Don't you agree? Why am I feeling this fresh ache in my heart? Why did she have to go and read that damn poster? What's her deal with him anyway? It's like she thinks he's gonna be her new best friend. Uh, were you talking? No. Hey, don't, don't look, look at us! <laughs> Maria's a teacher, but she's not smart enough to know that eating junk food's bad for your health. That's all she ever eats. She's gonna make herself sick. It's not like we're the poster children for health food. Sorry, what was that? <laughs> As you know, you're fortunate enough to travel in the company of the Great Night Tribe. If you keep spending your time hanging around an agent of the evil church, I promise you it'll end in disaster. <sighs> Since my other half is already awake, I figured it was only right that I got out of bed as well. Plus, I'm starving. Good timing, then. Hmm. Looks like you've put together quite the feast this morning, haven't you? Hmm. It's not all for breakfast, actually. Some of it's for lunch. Well, well. Cooking multiple meals? <laughs> what have you done with my bro? Have you finally recognized how awesome I am and decided to pay me the respect I'm clearly owed? I already told you this yesterday. That Maria girl doesn't eat real food. All she ever eats is junk. So I thought I'd help out by making her a decent meal. Hmm. But don't worry. I made enough for you, too. So Maria's the priority and I'm stuck here playing second fiddle. What'd you say? What do you care? Uh, hey, where are you running off to? Your food will get cold. Kobito! My brother's dumb. Big time. Ugh. Hey! Didn't expect to see you so early. Not again. A person can't survive on potato chips alone. Speak for yourself. These taste way better than any of the other stuff they have here. Check it out! Whoa, that's a lot of chips. Yozara lets me stock up when I work for her. You're like a pack rat. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Here. Uh, <coughs> oh, oh, wow! Did you make all this just for me? That's very nice of you, but... What's your angle, Kodika? People don't just make food. <laughs> I don't have an angle, okay? Just make sure you return my box. 
I'll make your lunch for you tomorrow, too. Wow! You're really being nice to me out of the goodness of your heart. You must be some kind of saint. I don't know what it is. It's just that you sort of remind me of my sister when she was little. I want to look out for you. I didn't know you actually had a younger sister. I guess it makes sense. You are the big brother type. Yeah, well, I'd love to hang out, but I gotta get to class. Lay off the potato chips, all right? Okay, big bro, you got it. <sighs> big bro? I've heard a lot of rumors about his dining habits. Apparently, he always eats his lunch before lunchtime. Mm. Please accept my apologies. I'm so sorry my snack didn't satisfy your hunger. That's not it. But thank you, though. Big brother, hey! Guess what? Uh, I uh, ate my lunch and it was so awesome! Yozura's yucky potato chips taste like poo-poo compared to what you made. Poop had Yozura likes to make people eat nasty poo-poo chips! Oh. Oh, oh! I was just kidding around. Your chips are the best. It's weird to make a young girl call you big bro. Do you have some kind of sexy little sister fetish or what? No, and I'm not making her call me anything. Kodaka really is a big brother, so I figured it would be the perfect name for him. Gosh, wouldn't it be awesome to go inside a video game? <gasps> uh, I mean, not really. That was a joke. I didn't really mean that. Just wanted to see the look on your face. Don't be embarrassed. Rika may not be able to get you into that game, but there's one she can. Rika has a different game you could play where you might have a similar experience. <gasps> Are you serious? How in the world do you have something like that? After Rika helped them develop it, they let her keep a copy of the prototype. Want to try it out? <coughs> yeah, of course. So what, you put this on? Yep, it's the newest head mount display from a game development company called Large Heart, and it hasn't even been released. But when it finally is, these things are going to be huge. Also included is the demo version of this exclusive software. It's basically the greatest 3D interactive fantasy video game ever created, and it's called Romancing Saga 14. Why Saga? Because that's the prefecture they live in. That's the reason? <laughs> it's pitch black. I can't see a thing. Be patient. The software's still loading. It won't be much longer now. It is the final frontier. Uh, that's not cool. To bring an end to this world, the reigning governor of Saga took action. He summoned the Prince of Darkness from another dimension in order to destroy the Earth. The opening is long, so Rika will skip it. Hey, don't do that. I was really interested in the Valhalla Castle. Sorry, too late. First, you have to pick a profession, and that'll determine the specific attributes of your characters. Valhalla Castle. Right, so... Maybe I'll be this. Oh! <laughs> hey, over here! Huh? Oh, wow. That's some outfit you got there. Rika chose Gunner, and this is what it gave her. You don't look half bad yourself, Kodaka. Wish I could see. You can. Just select Equipment from the main menu, and it'll show you what you look like. What the hell is this? I chose wizard. Wizards don't dress like this. Rika read about this urban legend that says if you stay a virgin until you're 30, you automatically become a wizard. Rika thinks you look just about right. Clearly, your character made it to 30 without doing it. I don't want to be that kind of wizard. Come on, this is ridiculous. My guy doesn't even know any magic. Rika would guess it is perhaps an honorary title. Is this some sick practical joke? Hey, what's up with your outfit? <laughs> I wouldn't talk if I were you. At all. Huh? Uh, wait just a second. What the hell stupid outfit is this? I chose blacksmith. Now that you mention it, it does sort of look like that. Please, it does not. I don't remember blacksmiths dressing all slutty like this. They can call forth swords using magic and cut their enemies to pieces. Actually, that sounds more like a ninja to Rika. Aw, man, I screwed up. I picked the worst possible job with the worst possible outfit. Would you quit your bitchy huh? meat? Uh, what are you? I picked Rose Girl and look what it did to me. Looks like the developer got a little lazy when he built that one. 
But still, check out your attack prowess and your magic ability. They're through the roof. Hmm. As long as I'm still strong, I'm okay. <laughs> you really are in love with that costume, aren't you? Hmm. Not really. Hey, you guys. Hmm? What do you think about my outfit? Well, you, uh, you look very strong. You're a very authentic-looking samurai. Hold on a sec. Sina, Yozura, and Yukimura are obviously the muscle. And Rika's the long-distance attacker. What am I? If Rika had to make an educated guess, you're worthless. That's not the answer I was hoping for. I guess the only thing we're missing now is a healer. Don't worry, guys. I'm here. Huh? <laughs> Maria? <laughs> you look exactly the same as you do in real life. <laughs> so I'm guessing you're the healer, then. Yep. I've seen that look before. An acolyte of God is always an acolyte of God, no matter what! <laughs> Since everybody is accounted for now, should we get a move on? Guys, check it out! That's Valhalla Castle. The Prince of Darkness lives here. This mode is a simulation that ends after you defeat the bad guy. This prince guy can be beaten in a simulation? Remember what you're wearing? This game kind of blows. <sighs> like we've got company. What are they, aliens? They're completely disgusting. They look and smell like poo. Uh, I know them. They're dragon gobies. Hold on. What the heck's a dragon goby? Fish that inhabit the Ariake Sea in Kyushu. I used to eat them when I lived there. They don't seem very appetizing. Of course, to each his own. They're Dragon Gobi Soldiers, the first of the small fry. The only reason they're in the game is because they look like aliens. Man, that's terrible. I don't care what they are or why they're here. Let's kill them. No, stop it. Don't you feel sorry for them being treated like monsters because of how they look? Dragon Gobies may be weird looking, but they didn't ask to be born that way. Please, don't hurt them. Just let them go. You're a very good man with a big heart of gold. When you look at those fish, you see yourself, don't you? People as good as you, they're hard to find. Yeah, you're really the best, Kodaka. Oh. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Eat this! Ah, poor little fish! Why are you killing them? What did they ever do to you, huh? Huh? Come on, they're gross. Rika knows how you feel, but we can't move on till they're toast. Their deaths will not be in vain. They will live on inside each of us as experience points. Be gone, demon! It's Samurai Mercy. How come they aren't defending themselves? They're working out a few kinks in the program. Rika guesses the developer forgot to code in the enemy attack patterns. Oh. Oh, poor little fishies. The game was rigged. I know they look super scary. But really, they're just delicious! Huh? That sound means we've made it to the next level. Guess what? My mm -hmm. skills have increased. And I can do magic now! Did I get experience points even though I didn't fight? Everybody did. Look, I got a skill. Okay, it says, don't be stupid. Nothing will happen just from believing. Nothing changes in reality unless you take action instead of just sitting around like an idiot. Mm. <sighs> Screw you! <laughs> And so, we dispatched a variety of Dragon Gobi monsters and finally arrived at Valhalla Castle. Wow, it's so big. The Prince of Darkness is a Gobi? The developer really phoned it in this time. <laughs> Whatever isn't playing around. Oh, come on. No dialogue for the main bad guy either. Bulletproof. Cinna, ah! are you okay? I didn't feel a thing. The problem is I lost almost half of my battle points. That's why we brought a healer with us. Where is she? Maria. Uh, Maria, what's wrong? Wait a minute. Something isn't right about this. Huh? Yeah, Rika thinks she fell asleep on the couch. Huh? That girl is completely useless. I don't blame her. The Prince of Darkness is pretty boring. I think a nap sounds really nice. You guys, 
If I use my Rose Guard, it will nullify the enemy's slashing attack, making it vulnerable to a straight-on charge. Well, what do you think, Senna? Are you game? Oh, I'm all over it. Blasting hammer! Here I come! Do it now! Yozara! Hmm. These wall graphics look totally realistic, don't they? Hey, what the... Ah! That's gotta hurt. She's dead. Hey, don't get mad at me. All I did was say I could nullify its attack in theory. I never said I was actually going to go through with it. You told her to charge it head on. Only because I knew she would be stupid enough to do it. Thanks a lot, jerk. Why the hell did you do that? Huh? Hey, what is this? Rose Guard! <laughs> All right, way to go. I hope it works before I run out of juice. Yukimura, Rika, while I'm holding this thing off, circle around and launch a joint attack from the rear. Oh, right! Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Rose Guard! <laughs> What's wrong? Are you okay? Uh. Damn you, meat! Damn you! <laughs> Victory is mine. That's what you get for underestimating me. I see. She tickled her real body to distract her. <laughs> I wanted to die on the field of battle like a hero. You're on your own now, Kodaka. Don't leave me! You guys! Uh. Well, it looks like this is the end of the line. Hmm. Hmm. Big bro! Uh, Maria! Hey, when did you wake up? Uh, 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 are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. Use your magic Faster! to... Faster! Uh, How dare you! Messing with my brother like that was a huge mistake, and I'm gonna make you pay for it, buddy! I may wait. look innocent, but when you... Kill me! Hurry! Hey! I'm talking to you! That's it. The end. Uh, Maria? Uh, Kobito, it's you! This girl said she would save you if it's the last thing she did. I figured I'd come check on you. And plus, I've always wanted to know what keeps you out so late at night. But I didn't expect it to be a video game for little kids. Are you gonna introduce us to your friend or what? How do you know this girl? We're related. Her name is Kobito, and she's my little sister. <laughs> come on, there's no way your little sister could be this cute. Hey, that's me. So what's going on? Why did you decide to come here? Well, big brother, I'm glad you asked that. Lately, you've been neglecting me and spending all your time hanging out with this bunch of idiotic mortals. So I've come here because it's obvious you need supervision. So basically, you're upset because you feel your brother has put the club before your relationship, so you wanted to drop by and check it out. Is that about right? No, not at all. This girl has a brother complex, but I can't decide if I should hate her or not because she's just so darn adorable. Please stop going on about how cute she is. It's creepy. Listen. I'm sorry I've been coming home so late all the time. I know. How about from now on I make some pork bone ramen every Sunday to make it up to you? Are you serious? You do that? Will you make it with extra garlic the way I like it? Sure. Why not? Yay! Plus, it's my day off so I'll be able to get some serious cooking done for once. I can also make you some lunch. You're good at that. Did you defeat the Prince of Darkness or what? I'm so glad you're safe. Ugh. What's gotten into you? Are you talking in your sleep? I'm wide awake now. That game didn't last very long. I'm so sorry, Big Brother. I wanted to protect you from danger, but I drifted off during the game. Shut up! Huh? Dummy! Huh? Jerk huh? face! Weirdo! You big stupid head! Haven't you ever heard it's not nice to call people names like that, moron? Shut up, you idiot! Who the heck do you think you are? It's her. My sister, Kobito. Uh, wait a sec. This is really your little...
Uncle Seth? Would you please stop calling me that? I am big. I have not been little for years. Well, is she your sister or not? She's my sister. He says you are. I'm a member of the Night Tribe and have lived among humans for thousands of years. My kind has been at war with you self-righteous church dogs for as long as I can remember. They call us vampires and we strike terror into the hearts and minds of people everywhere. A vampire! Yes, I'm familiar with your breed. Tell me, what is a vampire doing here? I've come here to keep my brother away from you, so his mind isn't poisoned by a villainous member of the church. <sighs> On second thought, perhaps it wouldn't be a bad idea to join your little club. You can't. You're still in middle school. I don't know of any rule that prevents a middle school student from joining up with a club. Yeah, since she's your little sister, it should be fine. Huh? She's in. Plus, it seems pretty clear she has no friends. What do you say? You want to join our club? <laughs> The only true friend I've ever had is the bitter darkness of the night. You're right. She definitely doesn't have any friends. Someone want to tell me why we're letting a vampire in? My mm -hmm. vote's a definite no. If you so much as touch a hair on his head, I swear... He is an apostle of God who makes me delicious lunches, and if I so please, I'll touch every hair on his head. <laughs> Time for you to die. In the name of all that's holy, I render judgment on you. Wrong, church lady. You're the one who will shrink before my dark magic. My darkness is so powerful, it wants me to school classroom rip right in half. How do you like this? Oh, how about that? Your power is weak. I'll show you, babe. You're the Yikes. dumbest person I've ever met. Hey, baby, oh, boy. Don't be such a baby. I really do wish they'd cut it out already. Uh, I mean it. I said let me go. What do you think? Want to clean up? Uh, you know what, guys? I don't think that game had a point. What? If you had just watched out for me back there, that Prince of Darkness would have been dead by now. Well, if you had been useful, we might have let you stick around. What did you just say to me? I'm saying you need to learn a little more skill with your They sound like your you're sister and Maria. Here. Yeah, they sure do. I guess the lesson here is that we shouldn't let them play video games together. That's too bad. Rika had a really great time. Huh? It was the first time Rika ever played a game with other people. That's the most fun she's ever had. Uh, you really ought to go to a doctor and get that checked out. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, Yozara! Rika forgot to tell you your outfit earlier was so cute! Rika's totally crushing! Hey! Don't tell me that! It's weird! Uh, Rose girl, she's super stop. cute! <laughs> I promise you this jug, I'll make you sorry you ever called me that! from now? Hmm? Okay. What's wrong, Taka? You've been acting weird lately. We need to talk. About what? It's big, but I want to tell you tomorrow. We can meet back here if that's cool with you. Yeah, I'm totally fine with that. Honestly, there's something I've been meaning to tell you, too. Tomorrow, then. I wanted to tell him in two days I was going to be moving away. But the next day, I waited until the sun went down. He never showed up. So I left. I ended up leaving without ever saying goodbye to my only friend. <clears throat> Crazy dream. What's she doing in here? What was I dreaming about again? Has this semester gone by crazy fast to you guys too, or is that just me? Yeah, summer vacation starts tomorrow. Weird. As you know, the Neighbors Club exists for one reason only, and that's to make friends. Now, has anyone here made even one friend? Anyone have fun-filled summer plans with said new friends? 
Actually, for me, I think my rep's worse now than it was before I joined. Me too. Earlier, I heard some girls talking about me, and they said, you know, Senna is totally dating that blonde thug. <laughs> How they could even believe that, much less repeat it, is beyond me. I should punch their faces off. Yeah, that sucks. I'm sorry. No, you don't have to apologize because they're stupid. What kind of club activities have you all been doing so far? Have they helped you make new friends? Well, let me think about it. We played some video games, and that's all. We practiced role-playing with video games. So, for the most part, you've just been fooling around. Hey, I have a question. Have any of you ever been to one of those karaoke box things? Like where you can rent your own private karaoke room? Yeah. I've been to. What? what? Why are you both so surprised? It's hard to imagine you singing karaoke, that's all. Mm. Whatever, I may not look like it to you freaks, but I'll have you know I've been to all the karaoke boxes in the city. Wow, that seems excessive and sad. Why would you go to every single one by yourself? Who said I was by myself, Jackwagon? Karaoke boxes are obviously places you go with friends. Hmm? What? Singing karaoke with your friends is fun. Hello. Not only does Tomo have an amazing voice, she is like beyond supportive when you're singing. Sometimes she'll even sing back up. Right. Forgot about her. Tomo the air friend. Why are you looking at me like that? No reason. No reason at all. So both of them have been karaokeing before? Senna, have you never been to one? Uh, oh, yeah, no. Who cares, uh, though? I put the class in classy, so why would I do something so unsophisticated? Give me some credit. I would never do that, like, ever. I may not have ever been invited to go, but I was fine because I didn't want to. Easy. No one said you wanted to. Kodaka, Rika has never been to karaoke, but Rika would very much like to go along. Rika imagines it would be rather difficult to go into a place like that all alone. Perhaps next time you would consider taking Rika to karaoke with you. Sure. Sounds good to me. Really? Thank you. Wait, I'm here too. Plus, if you want to know the best place to go, you should stick with me. That's nice of you to offer. Thanks, Yozura. <laughs> Excuse me. I've never been to one of those karaoke box places either. <laughs> All of this talking about singing has put me in the mood to perform Chaos Requiem. Well, when do you want to go? No one has anything to do tomorrow, do they? I suppose I could make time to go after noonish. Rika's available all day long. So is Yukimura. Tomorrow it is, then. When and where should we meet up? My favorite karaoke box is a ten-minute walk from the Toyonishi station. Cool. Then let's meet in front of the ticket gates at the station? Perfect. What time? Wait, hold on just a second. Because I, um... You, um, what, meet? At the moment, we're trying to make plans to go to a karaoke box together. You know, the unsophisticated, disgusting place your classy lady lumps wouldn't be caught dead in. Don't tell me you've changed your mind and want to go with us. <sighs> Look, Lumpy, unless you're a wealth of karaoke info, you're interrupting a conversation that has nothing at all to do with you. So why don't you take a seat and shut up for once? No, I'm not... Uh... The place I'm thinking of is free playtime tomorrow. It starts at 1, so why don't we all meet up then? Make sure you eat lunch before you go. Stop ignoring me! Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed you were telling the truth when you said you didn't want to go with us, but obviously you were lying. Way to put the ass in class. No, I wasn't lying. Hey, we don't care either way, so if you want to go, go. Come on. Admit it, you want to, don't you? Um, yes, I do. I... I want to go. I can't hear you. I... I want to go, too. I'm sorry. What was that? I said I want to go with you guys to karaoke. I see. Well, I can certainly understand that. But the reality is I don't really want you to go with us. <gasps> Although I suppose I can make an exception, all you have to do is beg. What? Beg? Just say, please take me with you. Put some heart into it. Uh, please take me with you? Uh, I would appreciate it. Please take me with you. You know what? I couldn't hear you like at all. And don't forget, the most important part is the begging part. Pretty please. Oh, Yukimura, um, would you get Rika another cup of coffee? Yes. Yes, Louder, I'll be saggy right back. bags. You need to start begging like you mean it. Okay, fine. I'm officially begging. Please let me go too. Hmm. That wasn't so hard, huh? But still, no. What do I have to do, you harpy? I'm going whether you like it or not. Plus, why would I need your permission to go anywhere in the first place? Took you long enough to realize that. Guy, you really are mentally challenged, aren't you? <sighs> You're the worst! <laughs> you witch, I hope you die! Now 
now that she's gone, you guys want to go ahead and decide on the real time and place we should meet? Are you like the devil? It was just a joke. I have an appointment tomorrow at one. So I will need to have lunch prepared early. Appointment? Would that be with those friends of yours? N no, of course it's not. It's with the neighbor's club. If I don't go, they'll be lost without me. It's tragic, really. What is the club planning to do? Karaoke. I'm going to ambush Josebrett and Kodaka with my gorgeous, gorgeous singing voice. I also really want to do a duet with Kobito. She's adorable. Did you say Kodaka? Toyanishi. Toyanishi. Please step away. From Why are you wearing that today? Aren't you on fire? A true heir of the night tribe transcends even the hottest of heat. I doubt she even knows what that means. Look. They're all here. Last but not least, are you ready? Why are you guys so early? We've still got ten minutes before one. I wasn't first. I got here five minutes after Rika did. Well, I only arrived twenty minutes before you did because I'm your sidekick. Rika managed to beat Senna to our meeting place by fifteen minutes. But I was still here fifteen minutes before Yukimura. Why are you guys talking like you're in the middle of some math word problem? Uh, okay, try to figure out who got here at what time based upon what they all just said. Huh? Come on, it'll be fun for you. Now, we arrived at exactly 12.50. You have until we get to the karaoke place to answer. Uh, what? Um, You forget all I need to do is access the Akashic Records, and solving a problem like this one shall be a breeze. Watch and learn, mere mortal. Why do you have to use the powers of darkness on everything? Oh, my God, are we almost there? Shut up, mate. Yes, we are. So what's the name of this place, anyway? Oh, it's Cry from the Abyss. That doesn't make Rika feel safe. Run, Taka! <laughs> What's taking so long? Wait for me! <laughs> How are you so fast? Kodaka? What the hell? You okay? Yeah. Go get it! Good afternoon. Wow, we're actually at a karaoke box. Drink bar and free time. One sec. There are six of you total, is that right? Huh? Oh, yeah. Six total. <laughs> well, all righty then. The total for free time and drinks for six people is 5,400 yen. Uh, are you yes. kidding me? I've got a big brother. So uh, well, free time for one person is 650, and the drink bar is 250, so that's nine per person. That's a lot. Just so I'm clear on this. We got there at 12.50. Isn't that right? That's what you said, Hold isn't it? Uh, hey, what's wrong? The total doesn't make sense. Why? What do you mean? The price for the drink bar is pretty much the only thing that does make sense. Get this. We're only using one room, but they want to charge each of us to use it. Is that not normal? Mate, what do you go to a karaoke box to do? Well, um, to sing some songs, right? Exactly. It's still one room whether one person sings 30 songs or six people sing five. It's 30 songs total regardless. So why do we have to pay six times as much for what we could get cheaper on our own? So basically it's a scam? <gasps> yeah, I think that's their game. You know what's like really weird? They never charged me twice when I came here with Tomo. Are you insane? She's not real. Why would they charge her? Besides that, all karaoke boxes charge per person. It's perfectly normal. No way. It's definitely <clears throat> a scam. I don't want to, but I have to agree. My daddy said to me once, people who know better should never overlook the unnatural movement of money. So, I know exactly what we should do about this. <laughs> Hey, not bad for a flotation device. Thanks. You can forget what I said about six people. The usual. I'm going to want free time and drinks in my own room. <sighs> I'm acquainted with these people, but I'm not actually here with them. We just walked in at the same time. Oh, okay. One person it is, then. Hey, dude, this is my very first time. I want to get free time and drinks for only me, thanks. <sighs> That's weird. What are they doing? Rika supposes they want us each to have our own singing room. Aren't they kind of missing the point of us coming together? Great. Same price for you, then. Focus, Kodaka. It's your turn. We're gonna go on ahead. So, are you by yourself as well? No. Four, please. Uh, uh, four people in just one room? Uh, are you sure? Yeah, four. Thank you so much, sir. That's cool, right? Yes! Let's sing 
a duet. I don't care as long as I'm in the same room that you are. I believe it's time for you to finally hear my rock star uh, voice. Wonderful. I need to make a member card for you real quick. Cool. Thanks. Is everything all right? Yeah. yeah. Everything is perfect. Will that be cash or credit? Oh, cash, please. Wow, this is so cool! Look! Yay! <laughs> you should go first, Kodaka. Rika wants to hear what you sound like. Me? Give me just a minute. Come on and load the room full of your awesome juices! Rika, gross. Rika's putting this large, hard black thing right here. Stop! Just call it a mic. Here I go. <laughs> go, Kodaka. How can I believe in my reality when everything uh, I see is so sublime to uh, me? Is this the life you knew, the one you spoke of? So many questions start to burn and turn inside my head. And I know it's hard for us to speak when all I've done is neglect you. But this time I'm going to stay for good. You and I are going to make it through. That was great. I didn't know you had such a wonderful voice. It really was the most beautiful thing. Rika thinks she might be wet. This reminds me of the time when we went running through the moonless night together seven years ago. Really? Because I don't remember that. It's Rika's turn! As we race toward the dawn and the night starts to fade. Yuki Morris next. Forever, please don't run away. No more consequences, no more concerns of what's fair. Let me melt away your problems. I wonder if the girls are singing now, too. All alone. Did you like my loving up the microphone finish? Did you feel a tingle? Absolutely not. Huh? Rika spent all night working on it, though. I'm up next, and I'm dedicating this song to you, big brother. That's nice. Well, have at it, Yukimura. I wonder if I went in their rooms to hear them, if they'd get pissed off at me. Get out! They have my favorite song ever! That's fantastic. <laughs> when you feel so alone in love. <laughs> I hope you mortals are ready for this. Road hurts from all the singing. Kodaka, hearing your voice so low is driving Rika wild. It's super sadistic and sexy all at the same time. Rika's correct. It's giving me chills as well. <sighs> huh? Hey, what's wrong with you guys? Why don't you ask Fog Lights? Whatever, she so started it. I'm guessing this had something to do with singing. You know how there's a mode that scores you? I was using that the whole time. And it ranked all of the rooms. When I started singing, the name Knight was disgustingly all over the top rankings. Since that describes her soul, I figured it was Yozora. I was trying to fill up all the slots with my name until Senna the Gross just had to show up, unwanted, and ruin everything as usual. Because that's what she does. Seriously? You were in separate rooms and still fighting? 
So then who ended up with the highest rank? Me, obviously. What are you talking about? I had the top score at 99. Like that means anything. I totally dominated ranks 2 through 11 with a 98 on every one. Who cares? First place is first place. On top of winning first, I had more 97s than you did. Liar! Evil must be eating your brain because I had, like, way more 97s. Just because you say it doesn't make it true. Whatever. You wouldn't know the truth if it hit you. That was really fun, wasn't it? We should totally do it again. Yeah. Hm. Thank you for coming. Uh... I guess this is our last club activity for the semester. Oh, yeah, I guess. Does that mean Rika has to wait 40 days before she can fool around with you again? Stop doing that, Rika. We haven't fooled around at all, so quit acting like we have. Looks like I won't get to be your gopher for a really long time, then. Jeez, what the hell are you all freaking out about? The club's not gonna take a break for the summer. What? We're not taking a break? There a reason for that? All of the other clubs at school are still going to meet over the summer, so why would we be any different? To start out, summer is the normal kids' most social time of the entire year. It wouldn't make sense for us not to meet since our goal is to make friends with them. We also need to keep up with our training. We don't want to forget what we've already learned. It's like the logic of pouring boiling water into a glass that isn't used so it cracks, right? Sure, whatever you say. Isn't that thermal expansion? Our next official meeting will be on Monday. Each of you needs to be prepared to discuss why you haven't been able to make hey! friends so far. What is it, twins? The answer to your question is you. You're a terrible leader, and that's why we've all failed. You know, now that you bring it up, I have a couple of answers myself. First of all, you are the most worthless person I have ever met, not to mention lame and beyond stupid. Between your tiny brain and your incompetence when trying to accomplish anything, your existence to the club, technically to the world, is meaningless. You are so rude! You're right. I said too much. Which is funny when you think about it, because there aren't enough words to describe how much of a hazardous waste of a person you are. You really suck. Should we leave them? We should, yes. Are you sure? Don't stop walking. I understand, sir. I'd call you a pit of raw but that would be giving you too much credit. And I'm not willing to do that. Shut up! No more! Yosara, you're such an evil... Yuck, I hate you! I wish you died! That dumb girl is so dramatic, it's disgusting. It's been a month since the club started. And none of it would have happened without her. Hey, Yozura. Hmm? This past month, it's been a whole lot of fun. Thank you. Uh, whatevs. Hey, Kodika! Wait! What's up? I forgot to tell you something. I was talking to Daddy yesterday. He said he had some free time over the summer. You can come over and see him whenever. I guess he's been wanting to meet you, too. No way, really? I'll make sure to come by soon. Just let me know beforehand, cool? Sure. Wait, slow your roll. Why the hell would he go over to your house? And on top of that, why would he ever need to meet your father? Hmm. Well, actually, it's because... Kodaka! I think you should keep that a secret. You don't want it to cause any trouble. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm sorry, Senna. She's right. It's probably best not to advertise the president of the school used his authority to make sure the new thug got accepted. So what kind of secret is this? The kind of secret that has absolutely nothing to do with you. Whatever reason he has to come over to my house, and or visit with my father. Well, those are his reasons, and he doesn't have to explain them to anyone. Bye, kids. I'll see you soon, Kodaka. Okay. Don't you think it's a little too hot to be wearing all of that? Ki ki ki. We've gone over this before. Heirs of the Night Tribe are not affected by heat the way mortals are. Oh, jeez. It's like walking into a hairdryer. Oh, detestable light of the sun. Ki ki ki. You have won today's battle, but there shall come a time when the Night Tribe will envelop the world in darkness and then no more light. Right now, I wouldn't object to that. <sighs> I'm still alive. Big Brother, you must be exhausted. So nice of you to join us today. Yeah, just like I always do at this time. 
it's summer vacation. Why would you wait until school would normally be out? What time did you guys get here? About one o'clock. Meat was already here being productive, playing a video game. She wasn't that far in. Yosra showed up just a little after Senna. So early. And let me guess, you were here too. I arrived here at 8 a.m. It was very important for me to be here before you. I'd rather take my own life than have you wait. Don't take this the wrong way, but it's not that big a deal. <laughs> I've already prepared your lunch. Uh, that's sweet, but I ate before I left. I'm sorry, and there's no reason to cook for me now that school's out. Does this mean my services are no longer needed and you're letting me go? Heaven help my heart. My big brother doesn't need me anymore. I am worthless in his eyes. I have no choice but to end it all. I didn't mean it like that. I need you. I'm just not hungry. If you're not going to eat both of those, can I have one? I'm starving. Uh, brilliant timing. I bet she was expecting me to bring her something. Look, you saved the day. Is it cool if I give this to Maria instead? Not that I wouldn't want it. I just mean it would help if you made her lunch instead of me during the summer break to save time. It would not be appropriate for a samurai to serve two masters. I'm sorry. What is he talking about? All right, listen. It's not serving two masters. Maria's like a sister to me, so you'd be doing a noble service for your master if you looked after her, wouldn't you? Yes, I would. You're right. I would actually consider it a great honor, sir. You mean it? You see me as your little sister? <laughs> Miss Maria, my big brother has requested that I prepare your meals for you, and so I will now be at your service. I know! Isn't it great? Yeah. Oh! You got all this stuff from the convenience store? Oh, look how much sugar's in them! <sighs> Yum! Yeah, this isn't the healthiest meal you could have brought me. You're such a strong, healthy man. I knew you could handle it. Plus, you deserved a break. Thank you. Let's say from here on out you prepare only nutritious meals for Maria, okay? I understand. As you wish. What's the point in learning good behavior if you're just going to give the reward away? <laughs> See you later. Have a good day. Yeah. Oh, man. Made it. Good to see you. Looks like you've already been working hard. Hi, where is everyone? I don't know. They're not here yet. Miss Maria came by for a little while and then remembered she had some sisterly duties to tend to, so she went home. Okay. Did you bring her lunch? Yes. I made sure it was healthy, just as you instructed. Very rich in vitamins and calcium. And protein. How many protein shakes did she drink? It wasn't easy to tell you the truth. She resisted, but they were your orders, so I had no choice but to force them down. Tell me you're joking. It reminded me a little of that story we learned in history class about the execution of Mampuku Maru. Mampuku who? Maru. He was only ten when his parents abandoned him, thinking he'd be safe from the evil rulers. Instead, he was found and beheaded. I bet the way that little boy screamed when he met his death sounded just like poor Maria. What do you mean, scream? Please, tell me what happened. She resisted, but they were your orders, so I had no choice but to force them down. Your orders. Your orders. Your orders. All right, starting tomorrow, see if you can make something that's both nutritious and tastes good to a ten-year-old. I don't need any more Mampukuru incidents here. Right. Your wish is my command. Are they ever gonna show up? You've had such a long day, big brother. You're all here, of course. Why didn't any of you come yesterday? Poor Kodaka. Were you feeling lonely by yourself without Rika? Lonely is not exactly the word I would use. Sorry, Kodaka. Something suddenly came up. Yeah, and I was too busy being jerked around. How so? I thought the game was almost over, so I was just going to finish it and then leave. But as it turns out, I actually had four more hours to go. Way longer than I expected. I didn't even notice what time it was because I was lost in the journey. When Makane finally met her prince at the end, it was so beautiful I couldn't move. You were playing a video game. It's more than just a game. You can borrow it. You'll see. It's a life-changing experience. When you finish, you have to start it over. The ending changes the entire meaning of the beginning and the whole journey. Just like real life is about how we're I all I just thought of something. What? Let's come up with a way that we can let each other know what time we're all going to be here and if we can make it or not. I think you may be onto something there. I'm surprised that came out of you, Kodaka. But now that it has, how do we do it? I was thinking 
Maybe like an internet group or something? You're crazy. You won't even consider it? I try to use the internet as little as possible. Online shopping and research are about it for me. Okay, but why? I did something recently, and I don't want to be recognized. I'm not even going to ask what that's about. I appreciate it. Yeah, I had a pretty crappy experience with message boards, so I'm not interested in being found online. Ugh, just thinking about it pisses me off. I could kill those ugly trolls for the way they treated me. They will never be forgiven for the things they said. What happened? Did you get in a fight? I was harassed. They were calling Natsumi a heartless lobotomized hooker just because of the way she looks, and I was not going to let that slide. I told them looks aren't everything, and she's actually very nice once you get to know her. And how well do you know her? Well enough that talking crap about her around me is pretty much a declaration of war. They can either admit they were wrong and apologize to me, or we can fight it out and determine who's right the old-fashioned way. So what you're saying is message boards aren't going to work for you, right? Oh, I know. How about setting up a page for a private group on Nixie? What are you doing on Nixie, Kodaka? And why haven't you added me? Because I'm not on it, that's why. You know it? Yeah. You're a member, aren't you? Of course not. Why would I put myself out there for all those stalkers? Yeah, I agree. Rika's not a member yet either. Turns out it's not the easiest site to join. You have to actually know someone and have them add you to their contact list. <sighs> so since none of us are members, we couldn't join if we wanted to. Nixie isn't the only social networking site, though. There must be something private that doesn't require an invitation. Rika has a suggestion. Mm -hmm. Why don't we just exchange phone numbers and use text messaging? Uh, uh, texting? You mean send messages with our cell phones? Yeah, that's what it is, right? I guess. I mean, I forget sometimes I can text people besides my sister. Rika, you are a genius! Text messaging? I never even thought about that. The only other thing I used on my phone was the GPS and some karaoke apps they downloaded. That does it. Rika, you leave me no other option but to agree that you are a genius. Rika is very thankful for the compliments. Okay, great, let's do this. Who's ready to exchange numbers with Rika? I am. Okay, here it is. I'll go get mine. Here it is. This is my cellular telephone. The numbers don't just jump in there by themselves. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Rika's never seen one like this. It's so pretty. The color almost glows. Uh, thank you? Rika sent a group text. Did you all get it? messaged all of us? I don't have anything. You sure you sent it? I didn't get anything either. Maybe my phone doesn't get them? Or maybe you have to send it to me separately. Where would I look for it? Which picture do I click on? I'm not seeing anything. Rika, you might have to send it to me again. This sucks. I must have freaking deleted it or something because it's not in here. I got it. How did you do that? Just reply back and we'll all have yours. There it is. Rika has your address now. And look, it comes with a picture, too. What's happening? Why am I having a hard time figuring this out? Why is it so easy for them? Because they're from the future. Kids these days, they're much more advanced. It's true. They're growing up in a new virtual generation. They live their entire lives just like video games with digital controls. Somehow a stupid smartphone made us generations ahead of them. People like Big Brother who are used to doing things without technology have a hard time understanding why it's useful and sometimes feel threatened. How is it that you're so well versed in the ways of text messaging? Why didn't you tell me about this before? This is dumb. It doesn't make sense. And it doesn't make sense for someone who doesn't have any friends to use a feature like this. Screw it. I'm just going to type in your number the normal way, so tell me what it is. I was just thinking the exact same thing. This is way too much work. Here, just copy it off my screen. I'm almost done. Why is your stupid number so freaking long? Um, I don't think you have to type in the dashes. Okay, then how am I supposed to type it? There, I did it. Great. I think I'm going to try it. You ready? I'm about to send a text message. Yeah, go. I think I got it. Are you sure? I mean, I did. This is you, right? Great. So now I just have to save your number. 
Y O Z O R A. Zave. Sweet, it worked. Another contact in my phone besides my family. Hey, this actually feels kind of cool seeing your name in there. Are you serious? You don't have numbers of friends from other schools? No, is that bad? It's not like I didn't have friends. We just always said we'd exchange numbers when I left, and then we never did. I guess that makes me kind of a crappy guy, huh? Uh, maybe. But on the bright side, now I get to be your very first phone friend. And you get to be my very first phone anything. I don't even have my family's numbers saved. This is a big deal, Kodaka. Well, I'm so honored. <laughs> hmm. Rika was starting to feel really guilty about not giving better instructions on texting. But seeing them so elated after figuring it out on their own makes Rika think it worked out for the best. Whatever. It's just a stupid cell phone. What's the big deal? Why are you so angry? What makes you think I'm angry? I don't know. My mistake. Hey, what's your number? I'll type it in now that I know how. I don't have one. What? <laughs> I don't have a stupid cell phone, okay? And I don't want one! I'm sorry. I didn't know that. Don't be sorry. I said I don't want one. They're just props for all the stupid giggly bimbos in my class who need to feel like they're important. I'm way too busy being organically awesome to worry about that. Well, there are certainly more people in this world who don't have a cell phone than those who do. And we managed just fine, thank you. I'd even be okay if I didn't have a home phone. But then I'd be depriving way too many people of hearing this goddess's voice in their ear, and nobody should miss out on that miracle. We're all thankful for your mercy. <laughs> Hello? It's me. Uh, uh. Just wanted to double check if you saved my number. Yeah, it's still in there. Come back. I mean, as long as we're on the phone, let's talk. But you're right there. It's different on the phone. I can ask phone call questions. So what did you have for dinner last night? I don't know. It was good, though. Really? That's what you're going to talk about on the cell phone? Who cares what you had for dinner? Keep your voice down, Meat. Can't you see we're on the phone? I don't want to have to talk all of your squawking. Now run along and do something jiggly. This is really convenient, too. Now we can talk to each other about whatever we want, even if we're not in the same room. Then why don't you guys go somewhere and demonstrate? I'll give you a call when I'm about to leave so you'll know when I'll be here. We'll figure out how to group text and use that to plan and discuss all the club activities. I forgot to mention that I went to a great restaurant last night and ordered meat. I had a really amazing curry with chicken. Meat. If you're wondering how the meat was, I'd say it was quite tender and delicious. What are you talking about over there? Meat. This has nothing to do with you. I'm talking about the restaurant's meat. Chicken. Meat. Not the pig. Meat. But meat that was marinated perfectly in my curry. I don't know how they meet the demands for their meat dishes. Meat is usually so expensive. Ah! Stop talking about meat! Shut up, you stupid idiot! You're such a jerk! Meat has some lungs in there, doesn't she? As if you weren't expecting that. Your talent for pressing Sinna's buttons is both sick and impressive. Hmm. How's it going? <laughs> My friend, the night has brought you home. Yep. I'm gonna make dinner. You hungry? In one click, my contacts have doubled. <laughs> Who could be calling at this hour? Who could be calling at this hour? Uh, hello? Was someone just trying to prank me? Ugh. Hello? Anyone there? Um, hi. Yes, my name is Senna, and um, I'm looking for Kodaka. I mean, is Kodaka there? Senna, are you okay? Yeah, um, is this Kodaka? Yes. What's wrong with you, creepy pants? That scared the crap out of me. Why'd you change your voice like a psychotron? Are you trying to trick me? It's how I sound when I'm half asleep. Do you have any idea what time it is? I don't have time to discuss your vocal acrobatics right now. Which cell phone do you have? The one I've always had. And which one is that? What brand? Style? Do you like it? Why? Don't be a smarty. Oh. Well, the company is Turn AU. I don't know what the model is, though. Well, go look. I'll wait. What? Hurry up! Uh. All right, it's an M61B. Turn AU 
M61B? That's right. Okay, got it. Talk to you later. What the hell was that all about? and waiting for you, Kodaka. You just imagined Rika naked, didn't you? You're such a dirty pervy. Uh, uh, Guess that means you'd want to know that Yozora's wearing a flesh suit, too. Here's a picture of her perfectly soft and round patootie to prove it. Hope you enjoy. I'm wearing clothes, and that was Rika's arm. Oh, yeah! Pulling down Rika's undies like that? Uh, no, Rika can't pose like this. It's too embarrassing. Ah! Oh, Kodaka, you need to be careful. That one's a pervert. Good to see you. Rika just discovered how great the girl on girl stories are. Rika never thought about it before, but loves all sex capades. They say it's good to have passions in life. You want some tea? Sure, thanks. Uh, where is everyone? Oh, they all had things to do, so they left. It's kind of late. We should get home, too. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> the goddess has descended upon you. Great. Thanks. I'm going to sleep. What? Really? That's all you have to say? Fine, let's see how apathetic you are when you see this sexy guy. You're speechless, aren't you? I decided to go ahead and ask Daddy for one yesterday, and he bought it for me. That's the exact same cell phone that I have. Even the color. Is it? What a strange and unplanned coincidence. There's no way that's a coincidence. You're so pathetic sometimes. <laughs> now we can text each other and have inside jokes, too. Quick, get your phone out. Okay. Do you know how to send a text so that I can save your number? Of course I do. Don't act like you didn't just learn how yesterday. I wasn't. <laughs> Don't be jealous. I'll let you text me, too. Here's my number. I have absolutely no desire to text you. What? Not even for the club? Then why did I buy this stupid thing? So that you can stalk me, apparently. <sighs> Please, no one wants to deal with you more than they have to. I was just trying to be a good clubmate. Not my fault if I send something out and you're completely lost because you were being a droopy McDrooper. I wanted to save you some embarrassment. The least you can do is thank me. Gah! Thank you, but I'm fine. I'll find another way to keep up. <sighs> we already tried other ways to keep up. Aw. Are we throwing a temper tantrum? That's not the way to get what you want from me. Try being a little more grown up and sincere. What are you saying? If you think I'm going to beg you, you're crazy. Mm. You know what? Forget it. I don't want your smelly number. <laughs> She's way too soft, for real. Uh, it's Senna. I need you to give me that horn beast's number. She's gone too far. I need to get her back. This is what she says in her first text message? I'm not surprised. If she wants my number that badly, I'll give it to her. But I need hers first. What is it, Kodaka? Tell me so I can give her what she wants. Um, okay. it a night. Kodaka, do something! <laughs> uh, well, let me see it. Uh, what am I going to do if it can't be fixed? It was my first cell phone. It'll be okay. We'll fix it. Uh, see, it's already looking better. I bet if you smile, it'll heal the rest of the way. Maybe. So last weekend, yeah? we went swimming together, and that was fun, but like... I just don't know what it meant, you 
want to go there together? Yeah. Next Sunday sound good to you? Oh. The season of happy kids. Awesome. I'm back. It's so hot outside. Um, why don't you have the air conditioner on? I think it broke. <sighs> okay, I'm back yet again. Did you get us a new AC? Yeah, but they won't be able to install it for three more days. Oh no, three whole days? <laughs> Is there anything more worthless than humans? Fascinating. All right, then, for the time being at least, let us go forth and make merry with our usual purgatorial feast. C -c -c -c. I am still racist V Felicity Sumeragi, right? Even if I were to be surrounded with flames measuring 20 million degrees, I would remain the great mighty king of all the night. Why don't you change into shorts or something? Huh? This dress embodies my powers of darkness, stupid head. I can't just take it off because I'm hot. Yeah, right. You want some tea? Is this episode new? Oh, it's the one you recorded yesterday. Here you go. You backed me into a corner. Who would believe it? Now, gaze upon my true form. Releasing binding spell. Unleashing magic power. Yes, this is my true form. I guess the finale must be next week. Brother, hmm? I'm releasing the binding spell. I mean, releasing binding spell. Why aren't you watching me? Put everything you just took off into the washer. Okay. Unleash the magic power! <laughs> now you may gaze upon my true form. Rip-off? It's not a rip-off! <laughs> I did not desire for it to be necessary to unleash my true power onto you. Blame it on a particularly annoying season of hell. I do only what I must. Sure thing, whatever you say. Uh, hey, so listen. I'm about to head out to the club. You want to go with? Uh, I mean, if you're allowed to go out wearing that. They do have a working air conditioner. I'll go. Hey, Kobito? Yeah? Those are clothes you wore in elementary school, aren't they? I can't believe you still fit into them even though you're in your second year of middle school. I wonder if you've stopped growing already. Uh, so what do I do about it? I don't want to be this little forever. Hmm. Wait, now that I'm thinking about it, as a member of the Night Tribe, I'm supposed to be eternal. Which means, of course, my body will never get discrepant or ugly with age. That's a good point. I'm glad you're not going to get discrepant. <laughs> you know, or decrepit. It's whatever. Hey, we're here. You're late. We're glad you made it nonetheless, big brother. Hey, Come on big in. brother! Long time no see, huh? Long like forever, right? Yuki Rara got me sushi for lunch today. How great is that? And yesterday he gave me steak. He's the best, isn't he, big brother? Uh, sushi? Steak? Since you ordered me to make sure I only gave Miss Maria food that tasted good, whatever I made for her I prepared with every bit of my heart and soul. Yeah, I know I said that, but I mean, aren't you going a bit overboard? Huh? When you force-fed me that nasty medicine, I swore I was going to chop something important off of that she -mail. But now that you're not crazy, it's different. Thanks so much, Yukimura. You should thank Big Brother, not me. Thank you, Big Brother! I love you so much! <gasps> You stupid! Who do you think you are? I hope you turn into a pig from everything you eat, so then my brother will hate you and your nasty fat guts! Hey! What was that? Uh, who the hell are you? I'm my big brother's little sister, thank 
you. Cute! Hey, Kobito! You're that dummy vampire? The one that tricked me? Incarnation of darkness! Big on! Big on! Big on! Big on! Ah! She bit me! Why would you do that? Dummy stupid had a dummy head! Of course she bit you. That's what vampires do. That's what you get, tool of God. And now that you've been bitten by a real vampire, your cursed fate shall be to become a vampire as well. <gasps> is that true, big brother? That is normally how these things work, yeah? No! I'm gonna turn into a vampire! I don't want to turn into a vampire! Maria, ah! I've heard if you bathe in the sun's rays immediately after getting bitten, it kills the curse and you won't turn into a vampire. What? Are you serious? Of course I am. Although it won't work if you wear clothes. You have to be completely and utterly naked. Okay, go! You are really evil. She's just so stupid. I can't help myself. <laughs> what do you want? And please stop staring at me. It's weird. Kobito, you are just the cutest thing. But what happened to your goth lolly look? I liked it. I just unleashed my true power. No big deal. <laughs> I have no idea what that means, but I cannot stand how adorable you are. I want to eat you alive whenever I see you. Please, don't do that. Uh. <laughs> Tell Rika something. What kind of panties are you wearing? You guys need to cut it just out. Just take them off so we can <laughs> see them. As God is my witness, I'm gonna conquer that cutie Kobuto too! Behave yourself, pervert! You're freaking her out! <laughs> Shine on me! <laughs> the sun's rays! God's light will save me! <laughs> the sucky thing about summer is there's nothing to do. Yeah. At this point, I would be okay with ten times the amount of summer homework they forced on us. Well, speak for yourself. While we're sitting here being bored to death, I wonder what other people have decided to do with their free time. They're having fun with their friends, obviously. I wish all the happy people would just die. I wish they'd die, too. What did video game characters ever do to you? <laughs> in this scene, if I were the writer of this game, I'd so put in a killer shark. A shark? What are you being all nasty for? Come on, Meat. If a shark appeared out of nowhere and tore apart all those lame bimbos, that would be an awesome god game, and you know it. Except that doesn't make sense here, so it would never happen. They're at a public pool, not in the freaking ocean. Ah, a shark! Uh. Uh. Huh, there's no way that's a real shark, you guys. Like, yeah, it's gotta be a radio-controlled one or something normal like that. Watch, no way this game pulls something that cliché. It's a comedy, so we should wait for the punchline of the joke. I can totally see how a shark in a public pool would set up a good laugh. I predict the lead character ends up killing the shark in some hilarious way. I bet that'll make my score go up. You're right, that was hilarious. I've had enough of this shitty game! The name of that game is called St. Jaws Academy Tale, right? Yeah, what of it? Rika heard the ending of it was supposed to be really bad. Troll bad. If you don't set up flags on St. Jaws, it not only throws you into a crappy ending, but then it finishes with a nasty gore scene that practically comes out of nowhere. It's like so random. Actually, the game is kind of famous for being stupid. I had no idea chick games could be so deep. It's funny because I'd kill to go to a pool right now. What? You're saying this immediately after seeing a bunch of oversexed heroines devoured by a shark at a public pool? Does this mean you have a death wish? Please say yes. Are you trying to make sense? Going swimming has nothing to do with that game. I'd just really like to go to a pool, okay? Oh, good. I was getting worried. Just know if you ever decide your fate is to be ripped to shreds by a shark, I'll think about saving you for at least a second. So you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, thank you. Me too. I want to go to a pool. Kabuto, you can go with me if you want! We'll have the most amazing time together. <laughs> Creepy meat returns. A pool, huh? Isn't that where happy people go? If I'd made some friends yet, I bet I'd want to go to a pool too. It shouldn't be that hard of a decision for you. I've been to Sea God's Palace Land before with Ku. Huh? Uh, hey, why don't we all go there together? 
you know, as a club activity or something. Call it a rehearsal for the real thing. That doesn't suck too hard. I mean, it's not like we have anything better to do. Let's go. Hey, Kodaka, try not to get too excited when you see Rika in her swimsuit. I bet you wear a dress thing. You know, like those cover-ups that keep people from seeing you in a suit? What? No, I don't. To prove it, Rika will purchase a sexy new suit, which is bound to make you drool all over her. Low-cut leg, string bikini, a barely bare number, a band-aid piece, or nude for the win! I have no idea what half of those are. Yes, she's excited. Hey, sexy! <laughs> we're all over here! You guys are always early. No, we're not. You're just late. What's the deal? We weren't supposed to meet here. Uh, holy crap! It was like this when we got here. I bet they're all headed to the pool, too. I can't believe how awful this crowd is. Uh, hey, Yozer, are you feeling okay? You look kind of sick. I am. Uh, it's not from the bus. It's from all the people. I feel real bad. Uh, here. I'm good. I'm not gonna throw up. Definitely not gonna throw up. Definitely. Rika's not gonna hurl either. You feel sick too? Yep. Yeah, Rika's no good in crowds. They make her real anxious. But don't worry. Rika's fine. If she must, she can easily find energy from you. As in from below the belt. Well, that's great. By the way, when Yozaro says definitely not gonna throw up, is it kind of a turn on or is that just Rika? No, it's absolutely just Rika. Are you only sick mentally? So, Kobato, what you wanna do when we get to the pool? Go swim. I guess that's obvious. Would you like for me to teach you how to swim? No, I know how. Of course you do. What are you good at? Long distance. Cool. Why don't we do that together? No. <laughs> she's even adorable when she's being rude. I know she's sweet on the inside, though. Oh, no! Are you okay? Bro, a little help here, please. Did you I hurt like yourself? At all. Oh, I'm so sorry. I wonder if it's sisters. They're a lot of mm. We finally made it. You see, I told you I was fine. I so did not throw up. Yeah, way to go. Yozara definitely did not hurl. <laughs> wow, there are so many people here. It wasn't like this last time at all. I guess it's so hot even commoners will cough up some money to go to the pool. Curse this damn infertile sun. Luckily, I exist in my true form now, so its rays can no longer destroy me. Can we go in? I'm so hot. Look at that. Uh, no wonder it's so freaking crowded. We're risking our lives being here. Why did we not do this in July? Look on the bright side. At least it's cheaper. Who cares? I'd rather pay twice as much than be forced to deal with these people. I think their half-price sale could totally suck it. Well, speak for yourself again. Come on, let's go. Uh, that took forever. Here. Thanks. Shall we change and meet in front of the showers? Yeah. Huh? Uh, the girl. Look at that. I guess I'm just one of those girls who's instantly hated by all guys, even though I'm really a boy. No, you're wrong. That's not true. Hey, he might not look like it, but this dude is totally a... <coughs> a guy! <laughs> Wait. I, um... Yeah, you tell him, bro. This should be fine. I guess we should get changed. Yes, that sounds good. Why the hell did you bring a girl's swimsuit with you? Because Yozora told me to. She said that I should wear one today. And why would you ever ask Yozora for advice? Because Yozora has become my trusted advisor. 
She had a good point. I want my inner masculinity to shine through even when wearing women's clothing. I thought this would be a good challenge for me. Way too intense. Well, I did bring along a man's swimsuit too, just in case. Dude, what's that? Oh, it's a loincloth. By all means, challenge yourself with the women's swimsuit. I'll let you borrow the loincloth if you want to. I don't, thanks though. Are you doing okay? Do you need me to help you get into your suit? No. All right. You need some help? Yes, I'd appreciate it. Calm down, Kodika. He's a dude. All set. That was very nice. Thank you. Yeah. How do girls put stuff like that on and take it off all by themselves? Hey! Is anything wrong? Are you okay? Why are you hiding your chest? Because it's not very muscular and I'm embarrassed by it. But if... if you really want to see it, I'll let you. I don't want to see! Just put your top back on already! Understood, sir. It's about time. What took you guys so long? Nothing. More importantly, I'd rather not talk about it. Why is Yukimura wearing a girl's swimsuit? I said I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, wait. Where are Yozura and Rika? They told me they'd be out after they rested a bit. Yeah, it looked like that ride was pretty rough on both of them. I'm gonna go swim now. <laughs> mm. Yay, you guys, it's so cold! Hurry up, bro! Coming. Mm. Crazy. Having this many people cannot be legal. Long distance is out. Yeah, I can imagine that would be difficult. Mm. This is gross and annoying. I wish that shark would show up. But I thought sharks were too cliché for you. When the girls finally get out, how about we head down to the lazy river and maybe the water slide? Fine. This is awful. That it is. It wasn't this bad last time we came. No. It was way better. Yeah, way better until you got all mad at me. What are you talking about? You got mad at no, me! No. You were pissed. But then when we were leaving, what did you say thank you for? What's going on? Those girls are taking for freaking ever. Guess so. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go check on them. I wonder what she's upset about now. I get it. At the time, there were only three of us in the neighbor's club. I can do We've got more members now. Show me. I guess we haven't exactly made any friends yet either. But depending on how you look at it, I think we've all at least changed a lot. Kodaka! Uh. Yozara just sent me this message. Uh, they went home? Kodaka! Where'd he go? Yozura! Rika! You guys! Don't go! Come on! Wait! She's so stupid. Why'd they have to leave? I had planned to show off my ultra-elegant swimming form to her. Maybe we haven't changed after all. What'd you say? What? Nothing. Uh. Should we go home too? Yeah.
the Neighbors Club activity report. Today's activity, nothing. It's that time of year again. A swimsuit? <laughs> huh? You okay? What's wrong? Pulpitoe, there you are! Uh. <laughs> I've been looking for you everywhere! So? So? What game should we play today? None. We can hit the pool and shout Marco Polo! No! How cute! She's totally rejecting me! What about you? Did you bring your swimsuit? I did. Stupid Yozara told me to, just in case. We're here. <laughs> You're so hilarious. <laughs> hmm. A the horse? <laughs> I never would have guessed I'd encounter the demon Astaroth in a place like this. Wait, I thought the evil gate was destroyed during the last war between God and the devil. Stop it. You're creeping me out. Yozara? Uh, that's Yozara? Indeed. What are you doing dressed up like that? You weirdo? It's creepy. Don't. Stay back. Get away from me, creep. You're gross. <laughs> Damn it! What was that for? Someone want to tell me Can what's me going on? Today is swimsuit day. It is? Yeah, the plan was to wear swimsuits all day at the club. Why would we do that? Because it would be a shame uh. not to wear my swimsuit after all the money I spent. This is all your fault. You just had to go home. The pool was too crowded. It was impossible to have any fun. You could barely get in, much less find a place to sit. Are you serious? Uh, yeah, I am. <sighs> so what's going on? Like, why in the hell are you wearing that horse mask? Not to mention the full-bodied zebra swimsuit. It's embarrassing to show your skin in front of a bunch of strangers. And like you said, the pool is packed. With this outfit, my flesh isn't exposed and no one can see my face, so I can keep my dignity. If you went to the pool wearing that ridiculous thing, everyone would hate you. They can hate me all they want. There's no rule that says I can't wear a horse mask. Yeah, maybe not, but I'm pretty sure there's a rule against freak shows. Then they wouldn't let you in either. You take that back! When you walk into a swimming pool, everyone immediately starts Hey, Kodaka. Uh, Rika's wearing a swimsuit under her coat. Yeah, Wanna take a look? Uh, not really. Uh, <laughs> Rika thinks you'll like it a whole lot. You're such an idiot! It's called the Emperor's New Swimsuit. That's no suit. That's going nude. Why don't you sneak a peek then? Knock it off, all right? Rika's just pulling your chain. <sighs> Come on, tell Rika how she looks. You look pretty normal. What? Normal? It might seem that way on the outside, but this suit's special. Once <sighs> it gets in hot water, Rika, it's completely see-through. Rika will take him to a private secluded <laughs> hot spring. He'll think Rika's wearing a regular swimsuit, but before his very eyes, she'll emerge from the hot water totally <sighs> naked. Kodoko will lose control and give in to his carnal <laughs> desires rising up from deep within. Not gonna happen. I wouldn't go to a hot spring with you. Not if my life depended on it. Why not? Hey! Big bro, it's you! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Ow. Uh, a monster! There's a monster in here! <laughs> no, it's okay. She's just... Guess what, little girl? I'm gonna eat you. No, please don't do that! I'm raw! I don't taste good raw! Don't worry, I'll throw you on the grill first. No! Good, because I'm a vegetarian. Oh, no! If I would have known this was going to happen, I never would have stopped eating steak. I would have given myself a nice fat plug. She doesn't eat steak? Weird. Recently, Maria changed her diet. She decided she was really into normal food. Do it, horse devil. Take that girl out. Start at the head and munch your way down to the toes of that snobby agent of God. Okay, this is just getting ridiculous. Ah! I see! You're a friend of the bloodsucker, aren't you? You and that stupid moronic It's time for you to die. I like my little girl's medium rare, so after I throw you on the grill, it's supper time. Okay, Yozara, I think she's had enough. Oh, all right. <sighs> oh no! It turned into Yozara! Be gone now, you devil! The mask has secret dark powers. If you put it on, the demon Astro takes over your body and possesses you. Now the power's taking over my hands. <laughs> 
some bad news for you, church lady. The power of darkness has now fully invaded your mind. <gasps> but I don't want to be a horse monster forever. Help me. <laughs> if you really want help, then swear you'll never go near my brother again. Never. I love Big Brother. <laughs> don't you dare say you love him, you stupid head. <sighs> it's off. You just broke the curse. <laughs> That's what you get, turd. Why you? You, you what? Who bag? Yozara, I've got an idea. Since you don't want your swimsuit to go to waste, how about we go to the beach? But that place is packed to the brim with people. We could always go to my family's private beach instead. Uh, wait, private beach? Yeah, we've got a place right by the water. It figures, rich girl. Well, to be completely honest, I've only been there one time back when I was a little kid. Besides, it's so far away you have to plan to stay overnight. Hold on! Does that mean we'd be able to go out there and hold a training camp sometime over the summer? Oh, yeah. I guess we could. Actually, that sounds really fun. Like an overnight club field trip. Plus, this could be a perfect experience to prepare all of us for what life will be like when we become happy people. Sounds good. I'll ask my daddy then. So, it's okay to set it up? Does anyone have any plans they know about? I'm guessing we're free. I mean, let's face it, it's not like we have any friends. Huh. Way to bring the whole room down. But wait! I don't know what a training camp is! Huh. We will need an advisor. Good point. Huh? Hey. Relax, Sina. Don't you know this is my cell phone number? Huh? Oh, yeah. Right, I knew that. So, what's going on? Uh, are you free today by any chance? Kobito, too. Yeah, I just have to drop by the club after lunch. Great, then come to my house. Why? Do you remember what you said before? About wanting to pay respects to my father. Yeah, but this is kind of out of nowhere. Well, the thing is, when I asked him about us using the summer house, I mentioned your name. And now Daddy says he wants to meet you ASAP. How come? I don't know. Would you mind coming over? Uh, yeah, I'll be there. Great, I guess all you'll need are directions then. Cool. Let me write them down. The due date's written down on the card. Hmm. <sighs> he won't be there. Um, hello. Good day to you both. Thank you for coming all this way. I am president of the Academy, but I moonlight as Senna's dad, too. Uh, it's very nice to meet you, sir. My name is Kodaka. This is my younger sister, Kobito. Has anyone told you that you look exactly like your father? This one's lucky enough to have Irie's lovely face. Please dine with us. Come. This way. Sir, wait. It's extremely rude to invite someone into your home without giving them your name first. Right. I'm Mr. Kashiwazaki. That's my name. But you can call me Heaven Stud. Wait, Heaven Stud? That's really your name? No, his name's Pegasus. Pegasus? How dare you insult me by calling me that! Uh. <laughs> Sorry. It's just... People made fun of me a lot in high school. I'm real sensitive. No, I understand. My name's Stella. I'm the official steward of this house. Steward? 
Please don't stare at me like that, sir. It makes me uncomfortable. I fear you might get me pregnant. Uh. Is a steward the same thing as a butler? At first, I thought Stella was Sinna's mother. Uh, sorry, this is all so new to me. My wife's currently vacationing around the world. I gotta say I'm surprised. It's not very often you take the time to greet our guests at the door, Daddy. That's true. He's been very anxious about meeting the two of you. He hasn't stopped talking about it all week. Hey! I have not been anxious about anything. Now bring out the damn food already. As you wish, sir. <laughs> wow! Everybody dig in. Thanks for the food! Go hey. ahead. Eat as much as you like. Don't forget manners, okay? Thanks, thanks for, for the, the food. food. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the food. <laughs> Um, sir, thank you for helping us get into the academy. It seems like my dad asked you for a pretty big favor. That's true, it was indeed. Right when the entrance season is over, I hear from him. That idiot father of yours called me up out of the blue and all but demanded, you better let my son and daughter in that fancy school of yours. Well, I'm very sorry about that. Hmm. You two aren't exactly the same. Unlike him, you know what manners are. That's right. Here, it's our way of saying thank you. Well, what is it? A world-famous spicy sesame oil. Next time you cook a meal, add in a little bit of this, and I promise you won't regret it. Thank you? Trust me, it can make everything taste better. It goes good with rice, pasta, really anything. Even Kobito likes it, and she hates spicy food. Do you mind if I open one? Please, go ahead. Mm, that's good. You're right. This stuff is awesome. Glad you like it. Me too. I want some. Well, then your big sister will feed you some more. Well, <laughs> maybe you're more like him than I thought. He was always the master of finding unusual spices for his food. Thank you. I guess that's what happens when you move around from town to town your whole life. He's out traveling right now, as a matter of fact. After all these years, the man's not changed. I'm not surprised. That must have been hard on you kids. Unbelievable. Devoting his wasted life to digging up ruins and then dragging his own kids into it. The scum. He's not scum! Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Sir, I don't think it's fair to call my dad scum. He's just a hard-working guy. Oh, you don't have to tell me. I know. Uh, stay here? Tonight? It's not an imposition at all. Uh, it's not that, it's just... Actually, on weekends, the buses stop at 8, so it looks like you don't have much choice in the matter. Huh? Uh... If you absolutely have to get home tonight, I suppose it's possible I could give you a ride. But honestly, it would be a pain. Right. We don't want that, do we? Come on, just stay over. But we didn't bring pajamas or anything. That's no excuse. You can wear mine. That's what your old man used to do whenever he spent the night. And Kobito, I've got an old pair of PJs that would fit you perfectly. Um, well, but where will we... We have a guest room you can sleep in. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you for the kind offer. Aww, she's cute when she's sleeping, too. Don't touch her, you'll wake her up. My daddy likes you. I'm surprised that doesn't happen often at all. It's been a long time since I've seen him in a good mood like this. I'd hate to see his bad mood. He really loved you. Bro, what happened? Where are we? You're at my house, silly. How about you and me take a bath together before bed? A bath? But why? <laughs> uh, hey, Kobito, it wouldn't hurt you to skip a night. Come on, let's get you cleaned up. Uh, President. Care for a nightcap? I appreciate it, sir, but the thing is, I'm a minor. Relax, will ya? It's regular grape juice. Have a drink with me. I don't know about this. Mine? It's the real deal. Sure you don't want to trade? No, it's like I said, I'm a minor. Just kidding.
Back in the day when we were students, your dad and I drank this stuff by the barrel. That's cool. I guess I'm standing in for my dad. <laughs> Way to take it down, son. Hey, it's just grape juice, right? Uh, <laughs> uh are you gonna be okay? Huh? I'm fine. Why? He chugged it down like water. Back in our student days, your dad and I used to love to drink this a lot. Back in our student days, we used to drink... Back in the day, we used to drink... It was good. <laughs> you all right? Please, sir, you've really got to wake up. Uh, uh, how do you feel? <sighs> Wonder if I should let Stella know. Uh, what's wrong? What happened to you? Open, sir, wait, don't run away! to talk to one of your father's guests, is it? <laughs> My life is over! Why'd she go outside? Beats the heck out of me. Well, well, well. Uh, looks like Podica's a pervert. Uh, no way! This isn't what it looks like, I promise! Don't worry, I know. Come, let's get you to bed while you still have a chance. Uh, wait! The president got drunk on wine and fell asleep in there. Once he's out, there's no way he'll get out of bed till morning, especially when he's been drinking heavily. Huh? I'll put her to bed in the servants' quarters. She should be just fine there for the rest of the night. I'm very sorry, but there's no more room. You and the master of the house are going to have to share a bed tonight. Uh, um, can I sleep in the servant room? I sleep naked and don't want to get pregnant. Fine, then. I'll just go sleep with him. You and my dad used to drink wine together back in the old days. Cool. There's no question. The president thinks of my dad as being one of the closest friends he's ever had. Uh, that makes sense. I guess that's why dad felt comfortable leaving me and Kobito behind to go off on his own. It does make you think. I wonder if I'll ever make a friend like that someday. Thank you so much for letting us both stay the night. Of course. Kobito? Uh, okay. Um, thank you. The food was good. <laughs> You're welcome here anytime you like. Thanks, that's very kind. Next time, how about we take another hot bath together? No! Huh? no! Kobito! She's freaked. What did you do to her? Don't look at me. I didn't do a thing. That aside, Kodika? Huh? What's up? Uh, well, I... I wanted to talk to you about what happened last night. Huh? What do you mean? It's all a blur. Your dad made me chug wine with him after dinner. I can't remember a single thing that happened. <sighs> Did I do something? Uh, well, no. Nothing at all! Hey, Kabuto! Wait for me! <laughs> Sometimes it's best to say you don't remember, even if it's a lie. Oh, Kodika? Yeah? Hey, let go of me. Do this much. Take care of my daughter. Huh? Yes, of course. Pegasus. Uh, uh, you twerp! I gotta go. Thank you so much. Dum, dum, da -dum, da -dum.
Stella, what are you? The Neighbors Club activity report for today shows training camp at the beach. This ought to be interesting. <sighs> Finally, I can sit down. Me too! <laughs> I think I'll sit here with you guys. Rika, have you seen her? Last I heard, she was looking around the train for the coupling section. What the heck is that? Uh, no! How'd I get the old maid again? <laughs> that was a prelude. Someday soon I'll be playing your final requiem. Be prepared. This one. Ugh, I got the old maid! That's what you get for being a poopy vampire! Pardon me while I win this game. Hmm. Gimme. It's really gonna take us an hour to walk from the station? There's not even a bus or a cab we can call. That's because most normal people just take their own car from the train station. Well, we're not getting anywhere by standing here. You coming? Yeah, what else are we gonna do? <sighs> well, yeah, normally in this kind of situation, the faculty advisor would be the one driving us. You know that, right? Don't be ridiculous! Even if I am a genius, there's no way I could get a driver's license. I couldn't reach the pedal. Thanks for bringing You're it up. You're actually hanging in there. I kind of thought you'd be the first one down. Rika had her batteries recharged in the coupling section. There was something about the way those strong pieces of iron fit so tightly together. They thrust in and out of each other with every movement of the train. It was a loud, rough, erotic rhythm. All that banging underneath Rika made her feel like getting off and doing the nasty. Are you sure it's okay for us to train here? <laughs> I'm positive. I don't want to train. I want to swim. I'm going to go swimming, okay? <laughs> Sometimes it's so obvious what a baby you are. We can swim after we <laughs> unpack. that's all about. I've heard of it before. I think one of the characters in the video game I was playing was pretty into it. Yeah, I think I've seen this too and got really creeped out. What does it mean exactly? Is it some ritual for the gleeful? Hmm. Maybe that's it. Maybe we're just not happy enough to understand. I don't think that's the case, but we should probably practice. That's a good idea. What if we come back here with other friends and they don't know how to do a pose? We would need to know how to show them, wouldn't we? Is being happier really something you can practice? What do we do again? 
stare at the ocean and yell at it? What would be the point of that? Let's give it a try. When I give you the signal, shout as loud as you can. Pick any pose you want. Ready? I'll go first. One, two... Yay, Yay ocean! ocean! Yay! does not like choking on salt air. Uh, was that supposed to make me feel happier? Yeah, didn't it? Yeah, I guess so. I think this is the kind of thing we should all practice separately. Let's put off yelling at the ocean as a group until we can do it on our own, okay? How do we know if we're good at it? Ha, ha, ha! I'm being summoned by the color blue! Ocean waves and skies are calling to me! Yay! Kobito, get over here and put some sunblock on. You know better. Hmm. Your counsel makes me weary. I must shield my skin from sun so that water won't hurt me. Coo, coo, coo. <laughs> <laughs> It's You're going to be all right. Stop. That looks so delicious. We've got to get an Stop. appropriate. Stop. Stop. No, it doesn't. Stop. You need to put some on, too. I never carry any of that stuff with me. But I think I'll be fine. I need some. Cover this body in UV barrier cream. Uh, yeah, you look like you'd burn pretty easily. Brother, would you rub hmm? lotion all over me, too, please? Of course. You're next, right after Maria. I'm grateful, and I'd like to repay your kindness. I can't take this! Uh. So many naked body parts touching each other, it's too hot! Even though Yuki's nervous, his heart beats in anticipation. Without even thinking about it, he puts his you-know-what inside Kodaka's you-know-what. Gently a person that... It's so big, bigger than expected. It's gonna Whatever that's supposed to mean. Yeah, in case you're wondering, I do need help putting lotion on my back. What? You know there's nothing you can do to protect processed meat from going bad, don't you? Quit treating me like a disease! Hmm. You're so right. I'd love to help you. Here goes. Look, cold! Butch up, prom queen. Your hands are, like, freakishly huge, and you can use less lotion, you know. It'll feel better once you're used to it. What? Please, that's what you think. I'm used to morons on my back. Right. Just relax. Um, why does it feel like you have monkey hands? You're imagining things. I wish you could feel this. I swear I'm being groped by a mutant. <gasps> what the hell do you think you're doing? That's disgusting! I wouldn't try to get up if I were you. Huh? Why? What are you doing to me? I'm pressing on your center of gravity. No matter how hard you try, you won't be able to move. It's amusing, actually. <laughs> Let's discuss how stupid it was for you to trust me with something like this. I don't care. Just get your feet off of me. You've got the lotion on your back. What difference does it make if I use my feet? It makes a huge difference. No one steps on me. I'm the one who walks all over people. Oh, trust me. I know that's true. And there's nothing I enjoy more than seeing you get back a little of what you've been giving out. Here you go. Does that feel better? You're welcome. No, that doesn't feel better, and it's highly inappropriate. You don't get to step on a goddess. It's back on does the stepping what's kind of weird is i think you actually enjoy having me on your back like this meat <laughs> look how your body's quivering shut up it's not true stop i don't believe you you don't want me to stop you like feeling helpless you want to be told what to do totally humiliated and forced to perform exclusively for my entertainment we have words for people like you rubella people who get pleasure out of stuff like this you're such a pervert now you're my slave i'm not a pervert it doesn't feel good i hate this Oh, just admit it. You love being told what to do, don't you, you little bitch? This is exactly who you are. Tell everyone you're a pervert. Look at you covered in crap. You want this. You crave it. Tell me. Tell me you want me to walk all over you. Beg for it. It's time to obey your goddess, you filthy slave. You're crazy. Get off what? me! Ah. Now, don't you ever say those things about me again. I am not a pervert. I am a goddess and a princess. Do you understand me? Uh. That's hilarious. You're funny when you get brave. Santa! I never knew your tatas were so big! Uh. Damn it! You are pure evil and must be destroyed! Well, you know where to find me when you're ready to do it. I hate you! I thought for some reason she'd be a little more relaxed at the beach. Here we go. Ugh. Am I the only one who knows how to cook around here? Where's the yogurt? Uh. 
Hey, what are you doing out here? You okay? Oh, hi, Kodika. So earlier today, did you, you know, see anything? Huh? What do you mean? When I stood up before I left. Oh, no, I was too busy putting sunblock on Kobito and listening to her freak out. Is this because of Yozura? Is she teasing you again? Yeah, you know how she can be. Forget about it. I just made dinner for us. Smells kind of weird. Paella tonight. I bought everything on the other side of town, so it's much cheaper. I'm amazed you even know how to make that. Yeah, it's one of Kobito's favorite dishes, so what about you? What kind of things do you make? You took a cooking class, didn't you? Yeah, but it doesn't really matter. All I did in that class was stand alone in the corner and wait to leave. Hmm? Everyone would ignore me. The instructor taught the class as if I wasn't even there. After they finished making their meal, they'd put a little on my plate. It was like they were feeding a dog or a homeless girl. I'd eat it anyway because I was hungry, but it was humiliating. I'd always be the first one to finish eating, and then I would get stuck washing everyone else's dishes. So that's all I ever learned in cooking class. Wow, that's terrible. Oh. I'm impressed, Kodika. This is good. Kodika thinks it's delicious. I must say, you've outdone yourself this time, sir. It was so sweet of him to make this. Shut mess. up, you stupid vampire! What the heck did I do to you? And now back to the weather. Looks like tonight's the last of our training camp. Now that we're going home, I'm realizing we never did any of the things you're supposed to do on these trips. Is there an activity list or something? If you practice looking at the ocean and yelling at it, what more do you want from us? And how does that count as normal? For what it's worth, Rika would like to do more before we go. Like what? Like when a girl is cold and she crawls into a boy's sleeping bag. Cute! <clears throat> Quit being such a weird pervert! It hurt! Then how about something more predictable, like telling ghost stories or playing truth or dare? I'm surprised a science chick would even be into games or telling ghost stories. We all love stories about the supernatural. It's fascinating. Riga may be a scientist, but she's also just a girl with a pure heart and a dirty mind. Yeah, we've noticed that. Someone did a dare in Twinkle School today. I kind of want to try it. Huh. So let's start by sharing scary stories. Then after we're totally freaked out, we can go into the forest to see who can last the longest. I like that idea. I like whatever Big Bro likes. Nothing is more comforting to me than the darkness. I will be protected and I'm not frightened. I'm not scared of ghosts or haunted forests. Let's do this. Okay, we'll start with Rika since it was her idea. <laughs> Rika feels guilty about how high she's going to set this bar. One night, there was a big black book with the words Ultra Mecha written on the cover. But inside the book it said, Ultra Magical! Ah! And? Then what happened? Huh? Nothing. That's the end. Great. Who's next? I believe I'm ready to go. Scary steamed meat. That, that sounds, sounds like, like a funny, funny story. story. No, it's not. It's actually very scary. Who's next? I hope you're all wearing thick underwear. Because I'm about to drag you into a pit of terror you've never even imagined. That was an amazing build-up. Why aren't you scared? Who's next? I'll go. I've been sitting on this for a while, but I think you guys can handle it. The name of it is... The Miso Soup Night of Terror. get why it's so funny. It's not. That's the story you keep in your back pocket. Do you not know what scary is? That's weird. I could ask you guys the same thing. Since you all suck at making things up, I'll tell a true story, then we can move on. A friend of mine told me about this in confidence a long time ago. You don't have any friends. This is fake. Just shut your face. 
To protect her privacy, I'm going to call her Eiko. This is something that's been haunting me for years. When Eiko was in middle school, she only had one really close friend. They were inseparable and did everything together. We'll call that friend Waiko for now. In their hearts, they were sisters and only had each other. Their school was known all over town for being haunted. Everyone who went there had a story about the ghost called Yamiko, a past student who died on campus. However, they say she only haunts those who've betrayed their close friends. Students who are loyal have never seen her. Anyone who ever does, though, dies. Both girls liked the same guy. To protect their friendship, they promised each other they would not pursue him. One day, Eiko broke her promise, which drove Waiko to commit suicide. After that incident, Eiko started noticing all kinds of strange things happening around her. It got worse and worse, until one day... Eiko just disappeared and was never heard from again. <laughs> okay, is everyone ready to go out into the forest? We're all really tired. I think we should call it a night. Plus, it's dark outside. We might trip or yeah, something. Yeah, if something happened, we'd be lost. No one would ever find us. It's okay, guys. We don't have to do the bravery test. <laughs> Yozura's story really freaked me out, but I started to realize it wasn't the part about the ghost that kept me up. Honestly, it was the whole broken promises leading to suicide thing. I thought about my best friend from when I was a kid and what he did. It made me wonder if he thinks I'm the one who hurt him. Uh. You gotta be kidding. Uh. Hi, Kodaka. You awake? Senna, what are you doing in here? Will you come with me? I need a favor. Okay, where are we going? I have to go to the bathroom and the halls are dark. What on earth? And it's not because I'm scared, okay? I'm totally fine. I just need someone there in case, you know, in case I need someone there. Why didn't you ask Yozara to help you? You guys are sharing a room. Are you crazy? She'd just make fun if I asked her to help me with this. So, can we please hurry? I'm seriously about to pee on the floor. Okay, fine. You're still out there, aren't you, Kodaka? Yeah, I'm still here. Hey, are you still out there? Kodaka, are you there? I said I was. Well, I didn't hear you. Stop yelling. Are you still there? I haven't moved. If you tell Yozara this ever happened, I'll completely deny it. And I swear I'll never forgive you. Okay, let's go. Awake? What's the matter? Will you please take me to the bathroom? Hello, are you still out there? Yep, I'm right here. <sighs> bathroom, right? Whoa! That was an amazing trick! You must be a psychic or something! <sighs> Yeah, just hurry up. I gotta sleep at some point. I'm almost done! Yes, I'll take you to the bathroom. Hold on. Uh, bathroom? Rico is fine with the bed, but that sounds much more exciting. Go to sleep. <laughs> uh, I should have gone while I was up the first three times. Ah! Uh, What's the matter? Are you okay? Why are you up? Because I have to pee. Hey, that's funny. So do I. And since we're both up, why don't we go down there together? Don't tell me you're scared. You're the one who was telling the story. Why are you so freaked out? 
No, I'm not. Why would you say something that ridiculous? There's nothing to be ashamed of. I just want to know how you scared yourself. Because the goal was to scare people. If I wasn't affected by it, I couldn't guarantee they'd be. So, um, I have a question. You can go in first. It's cool. Thanks. Hey, Kodaka, are you still out there? I sure am. Still there? Yep. Don't forget, I still have to go, so it would be really stupid of me to leave. Right. That makes sense. Sorry about that. All good. You don't have to ask. I'll stay here and wait for you to finish. So seriously? You weren't affected by my story at all? Nope, not even a little bit. I'm impressed. You're a lot braver than I thought. Look at that. Wow. But I really did like the moral about not betraying your friends. Yeah. So did I. This is some view up here. Yeah. As long as you and I are friends, then as far as I'm concerned, I don't need anyone else. I'll always be here by your side, even if the whole world turns its back on you. Uh, don't say things like that. It's so embarrassing. Hey, I think you should have a nickname. What do you want me to call you? A nickname, huh? What about Sora? <laughs> you should call me Taka. <laughs> You're so slow, Taka. No fair, wait up! <laughs> I'm fast. I'm fast. So weird. I can't remember. Go team! Only one more week of summer vacation left. But I've been a good student, and I'm almost done with all of my prep work. I forgot to tell you. Mm -hmm. I heard about a summer festival that is starting tomorrow at the shrine near the Toya Shopping District. A festival, huh? And is that all? I don't understand. Is there a reason you're telling us that? Well, I'm pretty sure I saw a flyer hanging somewhere on my way to school yesterday, and I didn't know if any of you guys had heard yet. Thanks for passing that info on. I guess I was hoping you were going to suggest we all go to the festival together. Why in the world would I ever waste my time going to a stupid, overcrowded event like that? Rika's with you there. A couple of years ago, Rika decided to go to the biannual anime festival in Tokyo, thinking it might be a lot of fun, but boy, was she wrong. The train was so cramped with people, Rika could barely move. She got off at the halfway point and went home. Rika learned her lesson. No more festivals. I've actually heard of that festival. People say it's ridiculously crowded because it's the only place you can buy these exotic special edition books. As big a fan as you are, I'm surprised you didn't stick it out. Are you questioning Rika's fandom right now? That really chaps her hide. And making a girl's hide chapped is not a very gentlemanly thing to do. There's no need to drag this conversation into the gutter. Do you know who you're speaking to? Without the gutter, Rika has nothing left. You could talk about science or all your inventions. Or how you're a cool girl with awesome glasses. You really should give yourself more credit. Rika needs her glasses to learn science so she can sell her inventions in order to pay for her expensive smut habit. This is who Rika really is. Besides, Rika has plenty of contacts in the anime world because of her scientific capabilities, so she gets special edition volumes whenever she wants. In fact, the only reason she works with these companies in the first place is for all the free cartoon porn. <sighs> I'll never doubt your fandom again, I can tell you that much for sure. I told you. Hey, Kodaka? Huh? At these festivals, do they sell food? Because if they have octopus dumpling booths, I'm in. I'm not sure about octopus, but there's plenty to eat there. Wait, do you actually like octopus dumplings? Why? You don't? 
I do. Those dumplings are my favorite. Way back, when I was a little kid in Osaka, I didn't really fit in with the people around me, and I guess you could say I was a bit depressed. But my dad used to bring me home these octopus dumplings from this famous store, and it became my comfort food. They say octopus dumplings every day keeps the depression away. They're great. Although, I can't stomach those bastards who sell crappy octopus dumplings with a straight face. Hey, calm down, it's just food. I agree they're super yummy, but it's not worth working yourself into a frenzy over. They taste really good. Let's just leave it at that, okay? Huh? I love them so much. If you want to buy me some as a present, I would totally let you. Do you really want me to get you octopus dumplings? Dumplings roll! <gasps> Big bro! Mm -hmm. If she gets them, then I get them too! Hmm. Looks like it's a done deal, then. We're going to the summer festival. Yeah! Octopus is probably against your religion. Maybe you should stay home, freak. Big bro and I are going alone, you vampire scum. You should stay home. Don't ruin Me our too. date. I want to go. Yeah, dumplings would hit the spot. Same here. I'd like to come if that's all right with you. Of course. So, that brings our group to five people total. How fun. Uh, Just hold your horses. Second. I'm Rika not going to be, be the, the only, only one, one to miss out. Miss out. Guess that makes it seven. I thought you two didn't like crowds. We like octopus, octopus dumplings! dumplings. <sighs> All right. Now that's a commitment to food if I've ever seen it. Mm -hmm. Kodaka, we're over here! Hey, here early as usual. Rika? Look what you can do when you put your mind to it. Huh? Is that some kind of backhanded compliment? If you're gonna be insulting, just come out with it. I think you look really nice. Uh, thank you very much. That's such a lovely thing for you to say. You're going to make Rika blush. I guess I can't win with you, can I? Since we're just missing meat, there's no point in waiting around. Let's move out. She'll have to catch up to us. Trying to leave me behind, are you? You're so rude. That figures. Never can be too careful around you. Well, I'm here now, so let's get this party started, shall we? <laughs> What the heck was that for? Don't worry about it. Come on, guys, let's go. Hey, wait for us. What's the matter with you, Kodaka? It's tradition for girls to wear yukatas to summer festivals. So why didn't you make Kobito wear one? It's not like she's required to wear a yukata. I mean, look at Yozora. She didn't wear hers. Please, let's not bring commoners into this. Listen, I want to see Kobito wearing one of those robes right now. I hate to disappoint you, but Kobito doesn't own a yukata. Rika has good news. There's a shop right here where you guys can purchase whatever you need. That's perfect. You want to wear a yukata just like the rest of us girls, don't you? What do you say we give it a shot and try some on? Okay. Let's make it quick, though. I'm hungry for octopus. <laughs> I hope you have to spend the rest of eternity in there and never get to eat. Oh, yeah? Eat this, bloodsucker! They'll never give up. Yukimura, go on ahead and buy some dumplings so we can avoid all this drama. That sounds like a plan. And thanks for trusting me to be your gopher. I won't let you down. You should probably buy one, too. Thanks for the advice, but I'm okay. Your good looks are your only redeeming quality, you know. You really should take advantage of that. Yeah, Sinna's right. A yukata would really compliment your long, beautiful hair, don't you think? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. Thank you, but that's not really my style. <laughs> Too bad she won't wear one. I bet she'd look beautiful. Big bro. Hmm? She's so cute. She's just adorable. Oh, nice. I want to gobble her to pieces. I think you look great. She looks better than great. She's the cutest little thing I've ever seen in my life, and you better be nice to her and tell her as much or else. Do you understand me? Uh, you heard me tell you I loved it, right? But you, on the other hand, you look completely ridiculous with your pudding-colored hair clashing with that robe my hair specifically the color you're a laughing stock at school literally everyone makes fun of you hmm. maybe you should try making it black funny you should mention that i've actually considered dyeing it a different color before but the thing is my mom's hair looked just like this and she's gone oh right you see 
For the most part, I'm a spitting image of my dad, but the hair's my mom's. Sometimes I wish I looked more like Kobito. She's got her face, her hair, and basically everything else, too. Since my hair is the only thing I got from my mother that you can tell by looking at me, it'd be way too difficult to ever let it go. Dying it another color would feel like turning my back on where I came from and who I really am. They can make fun of me, but I like my hair because it always makes me think of her. That's so cool. There's no question. You're way different from the other boys at school. Huh? Come on, let's go have fun. <laughs> Ready to go? <laughs> hey, we've been looking for you. Sorry we're so late. No, no way! It's so good! It's rude to talk with your mouth full. That is no way to eat. Rick is practicing her erotic eating techniques on this banana. Are you getting turned on? Not at all, no. Here, have some of mine. Uh, no! <laughs> Something's not right. Here you go. Huh? Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, that's okay. For you? Hey, thanks a lot. Let's see here. I wonder how this one will taste. Well, what do you think? Is it good? It's got a light, fluffy texture, but the thin skin ruins the whole experience. Plus, there's not enough octopus meat inside. It sucks. This is all my fault. Gross. Come on, you guys. Let's all look for a better octopus dumpling stand. Count me out. I think I've had enough. Rika feels the same. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. I'm still hungry. I want to eat that thing that looks like a cloud. <laughs> Thanks for buying me all that food. Everything was awesome. Yeah, I'm completely stuffed after that. But hold on. You guys, you said you wanted to eat delicious octopus dumplings, didn't you? If I eat more, I'll puke. Then why the heck did we come here I in the first place? I think we've all had place? plenty to eat, right, everyone? Let's go home. Good idea. No, you can't leave yet. You're not the boss of us, okay, Meat? Besides, what else is there to do here? No one's leaving till I say yeah, so. you can't go. We're here. We might as well stick around and play games. If you want to scoop up goldfish and throw rings like a little child, you can be my guest. Hey! I'm not a little kid. I just like to have fun. I was going to ask you to compete against me in a head-to-head -head festival gaming competition. But since you're a chicken, I won't waste my breath. I already told you there's nothing I hate more than being around a massive crowd. But I'm not afraid of eating meat. Besides, this place, compared to how crazy the pool was the other day, it's a piece of cake. I think it's about time I give you a little reality check. What do you say? Well, I suppose I'll let you try. So, what game should we play first? I'm an expert at scooping goldfish. No, what I mean to say is, I challenge you to a goldfish showdown. Hm. I hate to break it to you, but when it comes to goldfish, I'm the queen of the pond. Sorry to shatter your delusion, but the only thing you're queen of is the morons. Time to find out who's number one. Here's your money, sir. Thanks. Here you go. Thank you. Go! Hey, it tore! This is all a rip-off! Yeah, because it's made out of paper. The idea is to catch a fish without tearing it. Crap! Come on! Just stop moving so I can catch you, you stupid little goldfish! After I win, I'm gonna make you pay me back for all the money it'll cost me to beat you in this dumb competition. I'll take ten more, please. Sure thing. All right! <gasps> Cheating, you can't do that. I prefer to think of oh. it as sound strategy. I'm real sorry, miss, but I don't allow cheating at this booth. Take a hike before someone sees you and I can let you off the hook this time. <laughs> Be thankful I rescued you, Fishy. I've decided I'm gonna call you Kandata from now on. You're lucky you made it out of there alive. Meat. We're gonna do that next. <laughs> it doesn't matter what we play because in the end, you're going down. Try not cheating this time. Let's go. Okay, you're on. You're nuts. Come on, why don't you leave those two alone and come play some games with That's us? Way too simple, you idiot. Uh, hmm. Sounds fun. Awesome! Yay! I'm gonna play with my big bro! <laughs> 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 
Check it out. My water balloon's way bigger than yours is. Well, mine's a whole lot prettier, so I guess I win, you big stupid face. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, come on. You seriously think you beat me with that crap? Anyone with eyes can see I dominated you back there. Your umbrella looked like a spaceship. You're pathetic, meat. <sighs> I'm not cut out for puny detail work like that anyway. <sighs> right there. Let's settle this at the roulette wheel. Wait, sauce rice crackers? Oh, fine. Mm -hmm. Shot. Okay. Here, a special prize. Hey, guess what? Rika already has this gaming system, so she's gonna give it to you as a present. Please think of Rika whenever you play it and let her know if she can help you out. Hmm. Wait, why don't we put it in the club room? Uh, yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Boobs? That was a dirty uh, trick. Oh, uh, shut up! A win's a win! Don't be a sore loser! How can you call that a win, you jerk? Hey! You two get the hell out of here! Take one. Thanks a lot. Rika really appreciates it. There you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. We're going to need somebody to help with all the stuff we've won. These stupid prizes are really getting in the way of our showdown. So we want you to carry them right now. No, I can't. I've got my own things here. What? Is that a game system? But how? This is all courtesy of Bullseye Rika. Hmm. Neither of us came out on top. True, but if we would have kept playing until the bitter end, I feel confident I would have won. That's crap and you know it. Did you forget? I'm ahead by one win, dummy. Please, the goldfish scoop doesn't count because you cheated. Hey, let's go find Yukimura and the girls. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll be waiting at the west gate of the shrine. So Stella said she was cool to come get you? Mm -hmm. But because of all the festival traffic, she told me she doesn't know how long it's going to take her to get here. Oh. Well, since we're killing time, why don't we go shoot off some fireworks? They have tons. For real? Sounds like fun. Besides, summer's almost over. This could be your only opportunity. This is totally awesome. I've never shot off actual fireworks before. Let's do this thing. Okay, I'll buy a bucket and some candles. Here we go. Now gaze upon my secret fire magic technique, church lady. Burn in the fire of purgatory and die in obscurity. Megiddo flame! I know that trick too! Stop it! No copying me! So cool. Rika will take up an interest in fireworks after this. Our lives are exactly like these sparklers. They shine on big and bright, but the beauty of it only lasts an instant before it dies out completely. Look, triple sparklers! Oh, grow up! Free as child's play! Well, we saved the best one for last. This is gonna be incredible. That's it? Aww. An utter disappointment, just like our friend Meat there. And what exactly do you mean by that? Right when I'd given up on it completely, it comes through in the end. <laughs> yeah, like me. That comment wasn't about you in any way whatsoever. <laughs> Look, it's still going. Rika thinks we're getting our money's worth. Guys, is it me or does something stink? You're right. Rika doesn't think that's gunpowder either. Uh, Yosaret's your hair! It's on fire! Stop, drop, and roll! Quick, we need water! Uh, Turn around, Yosara! Uh, uh... Good job.
job. You put it out. Yozra, are you all right? No. That poor thing. For the rest of summer vacation, we didn't see Yozara at all. Not once. She didn't even show up to the club. Donabe? Here. Suda? Here. Asagawa? Yeah. Uh. Hirasawa? Here. Ujioka? Here. Horiguchi? Here. Matsushi? Yozara? Here. Makazaki? Here. Well, you made it in the nick of time. If I were you, I'd take a seat. Yes, sir. Feels like forever. Akazaki. Here. Uh. If I were you, I'd take a seat. Yes, sir. Sora? It's been a while, Taka. This is the first time we've really seen each other in ten long years. Which included France and the Holy Roman Empire. The Third Crusade was... I remember that day he first transferred here. It was right around our seasonal uniform change. Hello. I'm, a uh, the transfer student. Great! My name is Kodaka. Nice to be here! Oh, oh. Uh, oh no! Miss Osada! Did he just attack her? He's new here? What's up with his hair? Uh, Taka. Uh. It's Taka. I'd recognize that hair and expression anywhere. It's definitely him. He hasn't changed a bit in the last ten years. He always did suck at smiling. And the harder he tried to be nice and friendly to people, the more it would just backfire on him. I can't believe it. Oh, I forgot my book. Uh... <gasps> Here, take mine! Oh, thanks. Yeah, that's him. It's Taka. My one and only friend when I was a kid. He didn't even notice me. Well, tell me what you think, Tomo. Yeah, Taka. Or Kodaka Hasegawa. My best friend from back when I was a kid who doesn't even remember who I am now. Isn't that the worst? Yeah. My best guess is that it's because I used to dress like a boy whenever we hung out together. And yeah, I get that, but still... No way! Why should I have to be the one to talk to him? I mean, think about it. I have no idea how to start a conversation with somebody. I don't know. I thought maybe I could get him to talk to me first. When I get to school... When I leave the class after school, when I put things in my locker, or take them back out, I always have to walk by him. But he never says a single word to me. <laughs> it's not like that at all. What do you mean it's my fault? Right, 
Yeah, and you know what, Tomo? You make a really good point. Do you want to go shopping after school? I need some eyeliner. Sure. Let's try that makeup place across from the station. I think I do remember that. Uh No, I can't believe this! Crap! Kodaka saw me. Could he hear me talking? I'm gonna die. Please don't tell me he heard what I was saying. This is bad. This is really bad. What do I do? What do you want? I... I was just wondering... Do you like see ghosts and stuff? What? Uh, no, cause ghosts don't exist. Well then, who have you been talking to? You were watching me? Look, I was having a conversation with my best friend ever. She's made of air, okay? And that was the first conversation I had had with Taka in ten years. Also, I'm an idiot. A club! Huh? See you later, Kodaka. <laughs> That's it. I'll start a club. Here's a new club application for you. Thank you so much, sir. If I'm not in a club, I can make one. A club just for me and Kodaka. Sometimes I use this chapel when I need a quiet place to read. Or when the library is too crowded for me to focus. It's always really comforting. Sister Maria Takayama is supposed to be in charge of this room. Apparently she's still a child. I guess it's good I don't hate kids. Excuse me. Uh. Hey! You! Why the hell are you in here? This is my holy room for napping, so get out! It's not a place for scummy sinners like you! Um... Hi, my name is Yozura Mikazuki, and I'm from Class 2-5. If you're Sister Maria, I'm supposed to ask Forget you... it! What a little brat! Okay, I think if you just heard me out, you'd see that... I don't listen to poopy heads! Oh, you're gonna listen. I'm applying to start a new after-school club, and I was hoping I could use this room. No means no! Now get out of here, you grody blob of poop! It's time. Kodaka, follow me, please. Holy crap, she talked to him. To that Hasegawa creep? Now, let the clubbing begin. Our purpose can be to help us make friends. Perfect. A club for me and Kodaka. Taka and Sora. This way, we'll be able to become friends again like we used to be.
a go. Why is he staring at you? Sort of like that. He's still seeing you. Hello. Don't worry about it. All right. Moving on with attendance. Miyajimi. Here. Uto. Here. Yagashi. Yagashi? Sorry. Yeah, I'm here. Good. <laughs> Yamazaki. That's when I said. So, um, hey. Hey, what? I was just. What happened to your hair? Got it cut? Yeah, well, I can kind of see that. But, like, why did you cut it? Blame that summer festival night. <sighs> But that was just the tip, right? It's not like the whole thing got destroyed. You didn't have to cut off so much. I did have to cut this much off because you totally soaked my head. No matter how many times I washed my hair, that freaking stench would not come out. Oh, I'm really sorry. Please, I... Uh... Soaked her head? Uh... He said just the tip, but did he force her? <laughs> yeah, that is not cool. She washed and washed but couldn't get the gross stink of his stuff out of her hair. Uh, <laughs> you're wrong. I was only doing what had to be done. <clears throat> Shut up and come uh, on. Wait, what? Yozera? <sighs> okay. I, uh, uh... What I'm trying to say is... You're right, okay? I was Sora. So what are you thinking? I'm, uh... Pretty surprised. And anything else? Like what? You know, like else. Like, are you happy? Maybe honored? Or are you moved at all? Mm, how do I put it? I'm bewildered by the whole thing. Surprised. Yeah, that's definitely the strongest feeling right now. Oh. That haircut does look really good on you. Uh, uh, um, thanks. You don't think it's weird? No. It's nice. Oh. Thank you. I actually went to a hair salon. Wow. That must have been fun. Was it what you expected? I was nervous. Yeah, I can imagine that you were. Hold on a sec. You knew who I was the day I transferred here? Yep, I knew from the very beginning. And I'm surprised yet again. <laughs> Don't be. I'd recognize your pudding head anywhere. Thank you. Well, you certainly could have fooled me. Wait. But don't you remember that day when we met in the classroom? I swear you said something about not remembering what my name was. I was pretty irritated that I recognized who you were, even though you didn't have a clue about me. So you pretended you didn't know me instead? That's right. Crap, we're at a dead end. I'm sorry if I seemed rude. But, I mean, how can you blame me for that? It's not like I'd ever seen you wearing a skirt, right? You were only ever dressed like a boy. Who cares what I wore? I never once told you I was a boy when we were kids. Sorry, it's just you don't normally see girls wearing boys' clothes and picking fights with other boys whenever they could. I was going to tell you I was a girl, but you up and disappeared before I got the chance to. Uh, are you serious? That was the important thing you said you were going to tell me? But you never showed up that day, and I waited a long time. You're wrong, because I did show up then. But I got too embarrassed. I was in a skirt. And... and I was afraid you would laugh at me. You what? I wore a skirt because I wanted to confess to you I was a girl. I figured that was the best way to let you know. But I'd never worn a skirt before. So I didn't know if it looked good on me or not. I thought maybe you would laugh at me. I just... I couldn't make myself do it. It was way too embarrassing. But if I had known you were moving, I might have gotten up the courage to actually go for it. You see? This whole thing is all your fault. There's no way! Because first of all, weirdo, you didn't have to wear a skirt to tell me. <sighs> Whatever. You know for a fact, if I had just told you, you never would have believed me. Yeah, you're probably right. I think... well, the fact we were friends... I mean, I think the fact we were acquaintances should remain a secret from the rest of the club. How come? There's no reason for them to know. Uh, sure, that's fine. Good, then that's that. Okay, let's go. One sec. Hmm? I don't know what to call you now. What do you want me to use? Yozura. 
You can use my first name. Don't you have a nickname or something easier for me to say? I do. Did? Look, I'm not going to tell you what it was, Kodaka. Why not? Because only... only real friends use nicknames with each other. Hey, guys. Oh, hello, Kodaka. What's going on? <laughs> Tell you who this hot boy is? Do you not see the no, skirt? No, wait, before you tell her who this hottie boy delight is, Rika will try to deduce the answer. Here she goes. He must be your first younger friend. Wrong. So then your first older friend? No. Is he your younger brother? Don't have one. Then he's your older brother. I don't have any brothers. Huh. Oh. We must be looking at your soccer rival. I have not, nor will I ever play soccer. Is he the president of your student body? I don't know what that means. Then tell me he's your fiance. How do you come up with these? Alas, my big bro Kodaka has left me for a stud muffin. What the hell are you talking about, Yukimura? This is hot. Rico wonders which one's the dominant, which one's the submissive. To be the aggressive Dom, or is he masochistically submissive? Reluctant Dom or reluctant sub? Freak events, it's hardcore no matter what they do. Oh, just imagining it makes me go. She's such a freak job. Get it together. This is just. Hey, uh, Yozura, you got your hair cut. Uh, well, yeah. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Oh, Yozura, what's up? Who? Uh, Yozura, it's you. That's right. I am still me. You chopped a ton of your hair off, lady. So, what'd you do it for? It doesn't have anything to do with you, me. Oh, come on. Why not just tell me? It won't cost you anything. Nothing except for my precious time. What? Are you saying that talking to me is a waste of time? You said it, sister. And things are back to normal. <laughs> you! Stay right here until Rika gets back! What's she up to now? Hmm? <laughs> now then. Did you cut it because of a broken heart? Shut up. Yes! That's it, right? You totally just lost a lover. <laughs> awesome! I said shut up. <laughs> Poor mean old Yozura had love ripped away from her. I wonder why. So spill it, who is this lucky fella anyway? Whoever it is deserves a medal for realizing what a massive tool you are and kicking you to the curb. <laughs> How could you hit my face? That's sacred! I do not have a broken heart, you idiot. However, now I know how you would react if I did get my heart broken, which helps to prove how awful you truly are. Well, that sucks. I thought I'd finally get the chance to bully her, but I guess not. If your heart hasn't been stomped on, then why did you cut it? You don't get to know that. Oh, come on! Tell me! Okay, Yozura! Will you please try this on? What is that? Is it like a dance uniform from somewhere? You're exactly right! Yeah! This is an original, legitimate white uniform coat officially worn by the student council president of the one and only Galford Academy! Of Galford Academy? <laughs> oh, yes, and for real, Yozara! Rika knows this is gonna look amazing on you! But isn't this just like a cosplay uniform thing? Why would I want to dress up in a costume in the middle of the day? Because oh. it'll look amazing! Rika already said so! Wow, someone's sure in a good mood today. Uh, why are you standing out in the hallway? Oh, you were caught being naughty again, weren't you? Uh, just what do you mean by again? Okay, guys, come in. Uh. Uh, 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 what did Rika say? Amazing, right? Uh, yeah, she looks... Uh, there's a hot guy! There's a really hot guy in here! Why are you so scared, Maria? Because everyone knows hot guys chew up and spit out cute little girls like me! That's what all the other sisters say, and I don't want to be gnawed on just because I'm this adorable. Hey, cutie, <laughs> I'm gonna munch on you. Ah! I don't taste good at all, so please leave me alone. Go away! <laughs> I'm gonna munch you, okay? And then I'm going to crunch. Didn't we go through this exact same thing already? Kodaka, about my summer homework, I... Huh? <laughs> Take her! If you're gonna eat anybody, it should be a vampire! She'll taste better than me, I swear it! You're gonna eat me? No. Um, no one's eating you. I will! I'll eat Kobato into little pieces. Let me have that. Or... Uh, hey, what was that for? You should be ashamed of yourself, Meatwad. You have serious issues. 
Oh, great. She shows up after disappearing for a week, and even though she has a whole new look, Yozara is still just Yozara. You better believe it. Why would I ever want to change? I'm perfect the way I am. I don't know what to call you now. What do you want me to use? Sora? Call me by my name, Yozura, like you've been doing. That sound good, Kodaka? Uh, sounds good, Yozura. Great. Yozura and I, well, no, I guess Sora and Taka used to be best friends. But now, Yozura Mikazuki and Kodoka Hasegawa aren't. I know that Yozura was Sora, but we can't just pick up where we left off ten years ago, can we? I wonder, what will happen to us after this? Okay, at least tell me why so short. I don't have to tell you why I do what I do to I don't hair. really know Look the answer. Rude. So you know I hope to someday. How slanty your eyes are. Your eyes are slanted too. I think though, that's why I should stick around here for a while. Ah, you're a puppy vampire. What do you know? Horrid disciple of God. Here in this club, where all we're trying to do is make some friends. Time to begin the Neighbors Club activities for the new term.